Nice. Thank goodness. Right on time. That's a lot of people to tell. So wait, is it I think it's working now. I see the bar moving. Yeah, okay, I mean, so Mrs. Mrs. DM wanted everybody to know that we had an infestation of bugs, um, which was caused by us leaving a sack of potatoes underneath a bunch of non-food items in our pantry and then forgetting about it for like two months. Oh no! Yeah, that's a good, that's a good reminder. Let me go yeah, check it was on... it was pretty awesome. It took us forever to figure that out. So I have a I have a camera. Yeah, I'm open. I'm also, thank you to our 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 visitor that gave me one bit and a grave emoji okay, we appreciate you i don't know uh, it DM, says I, 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 do you know this person it says dj <laughs> makal mafia 450 i don't know that Hell i recognize yeah. them but it also doesn't say first time chat so they must be a returning visitor anyway they are indeed that's my friend oh that's your friend okay cool very nice. Zach, Zach's friend IRL. What? We get a pog Zach has chat? friends? We get a pog in the chat? One or two. Same. Um, okay, hey. let us so roll the recap die so we can actually get started. Mm -hmm. Four. Who is number four? Shab is number no. four. Please recap our very detailed and complex session from last week. Um, we were traveling to Veyron, and we did some RP, and we, I really don't remember. <laughs> cool. No, that's pretty much it. We went it was, to, we went to Veyron. It was a short session. I remember oh, my brain was kind of fried, and I was ready to call it after, like, two hours. I mean, Let's we see. also were down one very sexy man, so, you know. This is yeah. all that I wrote. Um, in my notes. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Um, in reality, I think some of the more important details of the conversation with those um, signature heroes that I'm now going to give by name because you were introduced to them, who were... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It was um, Sir Owen of Asgarnia, um, a... Um, a, he is like a knight of Asgarnia. Um, the raptor, who is a a um, famous uh, sort of world traveling hero, um, who is always fully covered in armor. Um, Ozan, a um, sort of scoundrel thief guy that was banished from Alcarid, um, and Ariane, a wizard of the Wizard's Tower. Um, yeah, so they um, they had been sent as basically like mercenaries to come and keep an eye on Potter Domus after there had been increasing reports of um, missing people and um, um, uh, vampire juveniles that were uh, supposedly spotted around this area. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that attracts and then the sense. whole party Honestly. became very fixated on how much they were getting paid and tried to ask them, but failed to do so. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to bring that up. And Dobson spent the session reading books. And Dobson literally did nothing. He just read a book. I mean, yeah, that's okay. Though. We still Incredible. Love it. Might have been an important book. Now I know it wasn't. And Bless. I do want to fill everyone in and say that last week we did not uh, talk to the king yet, specifically because we wanted to make sure everyone was so in Yeah, basically, yeah. You, have, you have. Uh, we're gonna start play <laughs> today by sneezing twice, and then, um, and then after that, we're gonna have the party has. Uh, <laughs> she's giving me the face. Um, the party has just arrived in Varrock uh, and is starting. What's that? Mrs. DM demands one bit for those sneezes. Um, anyway, so, 
Um, I think it was half a bit rounded half, up. Half a bit rounded up, okay. Um, bit, so the, we'll start bit. play today with the party having just arrived in Varak um, at midday. Oh, beautiful Varak. Oh, thank you. So I sneeze money. Babe, did you see? <laughs> oh, you should have been watching the stream. If we had like a make it huh? rain emoji, that would be a good thing. Oh, well, you missed the um the bit that Shab gave that says sneeze money. <laughs> that sneeze money. He said Coming thanks. in on stream, that live sneeze money on the live stream. <laughs> see what kind of things you miss, babe. I wonder why she should be involved. <laughs> she should be a player. Oh no, we don't want that. Yeah, then you end up with a DM conflict, She's, um... and then we're like, oh, you're obviously you know, you know being easy on her and not us. Yeah. And, and, uh... <laughs> okay, so um, we have arrived at Varrock. Um, what would you like to do? Um, is there any uh... local smithies in town? Oh yes, okay. So I think the main goals that we had left off was um, at was collect some money, uh, demand a raise. Um, yeah. Get, oh my gosh. Get, yeah, um, that's what we did. We complained about half the session was we were trying to figure out what those signature two, heroes were getting paid, and it was get it was one or two Ivandis rods crafted. <laughs> um, <laughs> like five gold a day to do this shit, and no one's out yeah. here killing vampires in the world besides us. Five gold a day, King rolls out of his mind. I forgot about that. Thank you. Oh no, yeah. Danny, we need you to get more money for us because Erlik doesn't care, but like we can't sustain this campaign on fucking. Yeah, we were like, you guys were like, we need to ask for a raise, and then we were well, like, we were wait, ask these other guys wait, what they're getting paid. which yeah. character gives a shit? And then everyone was like, not, not mine. Not mine. Yeah. That was <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the problem. Is like Dermo is very anti-consumer. He doesn't buy or use money that often. <laughs> Average druid. So we need Erlich, Zephyrus to be the hard ball. Erlich is just an old fart, and then Dobson is just kind of Dobson, so... <laughs> Maybe we can Dobson's, convince Dobson to be His payment is the adventure. We need to convince him, like, hey, you can, you know you can meet more, like, races and stuff if you had more money to travel with. Hmm. Dobson, you can write... You Think about all the leather-bound books and the bookshelves with the smell of rich mahogany and imported teak. Think about all the nice books you could have if you got paid better. You could probably get 99 construction using mahogany too. I think he's more worried about invention. Yeah, right, but so like, got the max, you know. Where would you guys like to start? I guess we start by going to the castle, right? I mean, we might as well get the grievances out of the way. How, many, how much time are we spending in Varrock? Because I remember we usually spend a little bit of time when we come back. Um, as much as you want to. That's not right. We're here for Currently, a... you know that the um, the Myrkey, yeah. the Myrkey have sent um, a, a few people over to Myrditch to try to like pick up where you guys had left off before you got distracted with something arguably more important. Um, right. So there may or may not be a time pressure happening DM, on our way to our next destination could dermo keep a super good watch for two nondescript barajo um just specifically yeah. <laughs> kind of what i anywhere with the smiths yeah. yeah as we're like walking you, you mean keep your head low like, for two garage <laughs> Yeah, are you trying to avoid like, them, or are you trying to find yeah. them? <laughs> What's your end game? Well, you looking for them? Do you need to ask over Dermo? I don't want to avoid them, but I don't want to get stabbed by them. You know what I mean? Yeah, you looking for an ass like, we, I, feel, I feel like we were okay up until that point. I just feel like I got associated with some negativity. For like, you know, you, you did, we you did join them. that. You did join that whole thing after we were like, "Are you with him? Are you with him on this?" And you're like, "I, I don't know." And then you were like, "I'm Zerosi now." Yeah. The next day. <laughs> so, and sitting does end up with wood up your ass. So I mean, you know, it does. Uh, it does not benefit me that I definitely fumbled on that question. <laughs> this campaign has been utter chaos. I say a lot of it. Every end of it. Yeah, so I will just keep a very good watch in case anyone, not not saying anyone in particular, but anyone of uh, Garajo descent 
a, you know, is in front of the here's, ordeal. Here's an easier question. DM, is it a weekday? Is it a work weekday? Um... It's not the holy day that everyone takes off for, for Sergon's worship. It's Sunday. Okay, oh, everyone's shit. off. So you have a good chance of seeing... Yeah, they don't know what... They're not... They probably don't want to be there. They're probably just chilling on their day off because nobody comes come Yeah, they're going to be minute. walking around town. They're, not, they're not going to be at church or anything. I mean... I mean... They're Vermoki, and they hate the two gods they know of. <laughs> Zero since they rock. They're like, it probably all sucks, so let all these guys go suck on Sunday, and we'll just chill out in the marketplace in the mornings. <laughs> All right, we wouldn't know that per se. Like we knew it. Like you know, no, I wouldn't even know why you're avoiding a fucking remote or what one is. I might actually see one or two, but yeah. Yeah. So we don't know that. So I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna say anything because obviously I don't want to warn them of anything. But like also, I'm just gonna pay attention. I'm gonna keep my eyes open. <laughs> I love it. Uh, to preserve my voice, I'm gonna be typing into that foundry chat. That's fine. Uh, but I did, uh, I did say that we'd try yeah. to go to Castle. Okay, so Zephylos is going to take um, uh, take the lead on heading to the palace um, in order to um, uh, both collect some more funds from the previous period and also um, negotiate a raise. You know how awkward it would be being caught with your new girlfriend after you just broke up with your old girlfriend going back to the same place you got went on a date before? Uh, no. Um, so, Zephylos... <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so, about to find that out. Um, Zephylos will head over to the palace gates, um, where I think by now... Um, after the incident that happened last time where they were like, hey, you've been accused of doing evil magic, and they had to argue your way out of getting arrested. Um, <laughs> they now will prob probably, like, all of the Farrakh Guard will recognize you, because you're beginning to be well, well more well-known. Right. Um, they would at least recognize Zephylos, Dermo, and Urluck, I guess. Or maybe just Zephylos and Dermo. What if they uh, probably, only probably just the Dobson would be like, who is this probably guy? just the two of them? <laughs> like, hey, Dobson, um, well, way back. Oh my god, it's that goblin. And we're like, who's this guy? <laughs> That'd be the best. I doubt yeah, they'd yeah, know. So, um, so far, he was pretty quiet when he did last time. To, to answer Zephylos's in character question with some recalled knowledge. Um, so far, the group has been paid um, oh, total, do total oh, sums of about a thousand GP for like a month <laughs> at a time. We're getting paid like so less, per person, that's like eight gold a day per person. That's, less, I'm pretty sure that's, that's weird. Yeah. I, I literally yeah, just did that, so that's weird. The, right it's now. bad. It's bad. So it's like eight gold Could per I person ask per day. Specifically, um, yeah. Is is this like a normal thing that like I would know about? Is like mercenaries just kind of going directly to the king, or do they normally work with like advisors? So I mean, you're not exactly going directly to the king. Like normally, you've been sure. talking to um the captain of the guard. Right. Right. Okay. Um. So Zephylos will go and get the attention of the guards at the gates. Um, who will uh, bring uh, Guard Captain Rovin um, out to speak with him um, at the uh, sort of outskirts of the walls. Um, so after, after a few minutes, he, he comes out, um, and uh, he sees you and he, he says, oh, Hello there, um, how has your progress been? You do not even know. Go on. We have been further deep into Mortania than maybe some people in uh, in the West have ever been, and we've uncovered something. Uh, I'll let 
I'll let the smarter people talk. Uh, but we discovered a lot. Uh, have you met Furlough? The, the camp? I think uh, Danny. I think Danny's typing his response. Danny is indeed typing. Um, so yeah, he's, he's not wearing his like crimson red mage armor in the city. I guess that would make sense. Um, okay, yeah, didn't think so. So this is this is. Uh, does he normally not wear mage armor in the city? I, I'm guessing no, but I never thought about it before. No, I think when we're out, he's always cast. It probably wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, it probably wouldn't be appropriate. Um, in terms of like a um, like a. It seemed pretty newbie. Yeah, pretty exactly. Newbie. Okay, so, um, uh, he will see you and um. Uh, I guess it wouldn't really be a like different Santa. look for him other than maybe cleaning himself up a little bit more to look more presentable given the situation that happened last time. So he'll see um, Zephalos and, and acknowledge Dermo and um, he'll say, please, um, go on. What have you found? Well, uh, we, we have fought uh, new, more powerful creatures and maybe vampire of some sort. I'm not sure, but there are things much more powerful than we even knew originally we would be facing against. Uh, and even deeper in Mauritania, there are still things un unseen that can control minds and can you know, spawn entire armies seemingly at will that we've had to face off against. So that, the vampire infestation may not be the biggest threat that the East has for us. Really? Um, what, what kinds of things are spawning said armies? That is concerning. What, what would he be considered, Erla? What what kind of creature was he? I mean, I'm I'm in the museum, but we would have we would have mentioned that Slisky's a Majora. Do we, is that like a known thing? Do, do no. people know what Majorat are? No, Danny. Danny's character studied, I believe, a little Probably. bit to know what a Majorat was, and that Sliske was one. I think we came to the conclusion, right? So probably, is like, there, is there a common way we can describe what a Majorat is? Uh, so Buffalo, most people, be... most people won't know what a Majorat is unless right. they're like either a historian or like a like a, a magic researcher or something because it's just not really very yeah. relevant to the average uh, person or maybe religious affiliation or yeah or, or a, um maybe. like a like a, a studied zamorakian or zerosian would know. right well right. I, I think the wasn't Varrock uh, invaded by one like 100 years ago 200 uh, well, but 200 but you gotta remember most people aren't learned man was there again these are people that are studying to what uh, happened 200 more, years ago when he came and abducted her off yeah, oh, that yeah was, I, for, I forgot that about that. That was 200 years ago, and it's written whole about city was the named book after it. that you have to study about. Most people oh, aren't going to go to the library and read about it. They have, their lives are yeah. too busy. That's what, that's what literally the whole point of it. Can if you, also just, on studying that, then it can also just it can also just be one of those things that like people knew it was like a sorcerer or something, but not like that it was like a literal yeah, alien yeah, race. Yeah, yeah. Um, more, more than, uh, I feel robot. like I feel like most people would would just know that it was like some sorcerer or something, some necromancer. We we, we um, I think maybe the only people that I think the only people that might know better is like like Kendarinians that live like you know where where Port where, Mazar where, is and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like those people. He's, he's openly Magra. Like his yeah, he he's like yeah, he's like like fully out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so that's pretty much how I played it in my I'm in my campaign too. Boy. Is around our dome, you start getting people who are like less familiar with it, but the gnomes know what Magra are because they've been fighting one for who knows how long, a while. Mm. We'll uh, we'll talk about it more after session, but Rovin and, and the king both have dialogues about talking about Majorat when they refer to Zamorgal. Right, but the, 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 the nobles, though. They're also not commoners, but yeah. But yeah, no, but regardless, most, how, how Zade people... runs it is how he runs it. But, um... Right, but, but again, most is that 5th age or 6th age? Because we are based in the 5th age. Like, the, a yeah, lot yeah, more yeah. people know about it in 6th age. Yeah, it's Defender yeah, of Varrock, so it's 5th age. Well, yeah, in the fifth age, a lot more people know about it because of the fourth age, August. What we're saying is most people don't aren't studied up on it. 
in general. But right. um, yeah. regardless. Uh, anyway, to loop this back into the actual that flows game, gives contact. Um. Okay, so he'll be like, "Oh, um, I I'm not sure that I'm familiar with those. Um, it kind of sounds familiar from, um." Kind of what I, I I used to hear about in um, historical texts, um, having to do with you know a history of, of wars in, in this region. Um, so okay, there there is one. You've come into contact with one that lives in Mauritania. Okay, um, right. any idea where his alignment stands? Uh, definitely Probably. chaotic. I'm not sure. I don't know if he's evil per se, but he he seems to derive pleasure from toying with those that he comes in contact with. He definitely seems like a third party. It doesn't seem like okay. he's in line with the vampire legions because he actually gave us the knowledge of how to make a specific vampire killing weapon. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Interesting. Do you think but, he could want to bring about the fall of the vampires it may be seems like a benefit, an allied uh, sort of course of action i don't know if this would be considered an ally he seems like a trickster if you will so helping mm. him may not help us if that makes sense but it could at the same time it's a very okay. unsure pathway he, okay he is helpful when he wants to be the energy i give mm. um it we had to do terrible, terrible games to even get an ounce of his favor. Um, in fact, we lost Crazy. a traveling member there the first time we visited his lair. We lost his games, and he created murder. Uh, and even worse, mm. a necromancer. Um, mm. So, the fact that we were able to get something good out of that exchange, I think we should count ourselves fortunate in that regard. I but see. Someone reliable to help us? I wouldn't count on it. Okay. We will keep that in mind, and I'll inform our scholars to study up on these Majorat. Make sure that we understand the potential danger that they may face. Uh, now, what is it? This what is this information that they gave you? You said it was important. A blueprint. Uh, well, they led us to a blueprint. We kind of unraveled it through rhyme and reason but um we were told to go to a very specific location and using its psionic powers it planted the location into our mind once we got there we found a tomb with someone who is long past now one of our traveling companions is a man of the cloth uh, an ancient religion of the far south Caridian, where he hails from but as someone who has been blessed by a deity, he has the power to speak with those who have passed. So mm -hmm. he, he asked some questions up among this corpse. Um, of course, we respectfully put it back after. Um, but we asked the corpse if it knew of any way to deal with vampire threats. And it gave us a riddle of how to make a vampire killing weapon. Um, we cross-referenced this riddle with Father uh, Dretzel, uh, the gentleman who takes care of Paterdomus, and um, he was able to make sense of it. So we think we have a, a sound blueprint, sound enough to even go to a, a smith and have one commissioned. Oh, interesting. Could you um, copy down that information for me? We would definitely like to have that. Oh, definitely. I'll be making a report and much more. One thing money. Want to about, yeah, one thing that you want to talk about, however, money. is um, we, we've brought plenty of substance with us, and okay. every trip back from Mauritania is is multiple we travel. Um, right. We do, of course, request compensation for it. Yes, um, of course. Hey, um, tell them we have offers from other kingdoms. Just say it. Let me... <laughs> let me I, I can... Go ahead. Get the words out there. Don't follow through yeah, on it. Change the subject just, if they dig into it. Change the subject. Just do, just I'm say just it. saying, I, I can't lie, but I can ask nicely. I will I will I will inform him. I'll say um, was your deception, Val? I should have came with you. Uh with, with, I'm an with old man. No one's gonna believe that I'm lying. 
<laughs> with, with due respect, Captain Roven, um, I have secured four very potent and powerful traveling companions, all of which have very unique abilities. I'm sure you've seen Dermo as an otherworldly being of great druidic powers. Um, again, I've, I've commissioned um, a cleric from the South Caridia. And even <laughs> you commissioned. You commissioned. Got it. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> screw it. over the bargaining power. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not there. I'm just saying out of case. This is uh, I love how crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Talk, doctor it up, Zephyrus. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, of course, I've even gotten probably the only intelligent goblin you'll ever find in Missilin. <laughs> all in all, to come together and help the kingdom and the crown. Pretty, uh, pretty but racist. Have, but all right. Dude, hey, when you're talking to racists, sometimes you gotta kind of slip a little bit. <laughs> yeah, are yeah. you sure you aren't Sarah Domus? The, the real question, the real question is if, if Zephyrus believes this or not. Um, but he is getting <laughs> the point across regardless. He says um, they have kind of uh, voiced a certain discontent with the compensation. Um, as I've told you, the trek is very long. Every single minute we're in Mauritania is active danger. There are spirits that will eat our food, and if we don't have enough food enough, we'll take our flesh. Uh, there are undead. Spirits trying to eat our butts, and spirits vampires, trying to eat our food. Uh, oozes. The list can go on. But oozes what I'm saying slime. is, um, in, in order to really maintain their loyalty for the cause, because, you know, as though I'm a citizen of Missilin, they are hired help. Um, I would implore that the compensation be on the generous side. That keep them engaged. We are doing active work and bringing back a results after all. You did see that they hired mm. like signature heroes in the realm. I see, I see. No, uh, let me see. He turns over to Dirk the Clerk, who has been with him this whole time. Um, oh, and he and he, he says, Dirk, how much have we been paying these fine gentlemen? And he um, he reads off the amount. He's like, uh, about, about eight gold per day, sir. <laughs> He's like, oh. That is not very much. Okay. Um, I shall speak with um, I shall speak with one of our um, one of our high treasurers um, and uh, see if I can encourage him to give you a significant amount more, uh, starting with your payment for today. Um, we shall also um, I, I imagine this will be easy to convince him of. We shall fund um, the creation of uh, one or two of these uh, of these vampire weapons uh, for you that you can use to get them made for your own selves, and, and we'll look into um, making some uh, on our on our own as well. Um, and, and keep in mind, I I, I I greatly appreciate what you're doing, Captain Roven. Um, there's one more thing actually I wanted to add. Uh, aside mm -hmm. from compensation, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with with your response on the matter. Um, yeah, but... I, I understand that you started out basically uh, taking trips to Powder Domus, um, and it seems to me that your responsibilities have escalate, escalated um, very much from there. King King Roll just hit you, or was it Captain Roman just hit you with started from the bottom, now you're here? <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Um, <laughs> there's, there's one more discovery we made, actually. Well, I, we may have touched on it before, but We've actually found them and been working with them. There is a resistance force in Mauritania of genuinely good human beings who are suffering right now. Um, oh, yes, I think that was mentioned earlier. Yeah, but we, we found where they where they live and hide, and okay. they are in poverty. And li listen, when you go to the southeast district of Varrock and you see the people begging for money, that is a life of luxury compared to what these people are living through. I would mm. even go as far as to say... That if we can somehow, like, I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'll ask him if he has a map of, of Missilin and Caridia. Um, probably not with him. Okay. Well, I'll say, uh, I don't know exactly where, do but any on of us the have southern... A map, like... You guys probably have a map. Okay. Well, yeah, I think we had a map, didn't we, from when we were originally told to go to Mortania? I thought we, had, we got a map. Yeah, Zephylos, a a... Zephylos happens to have his map on hand. Excellent. I think Daisu. Um, I think Daisu has that. Shush. I'll, <laughs> I'll point out uh, an area on the south, uh, in the south, and I'll say. We've been to 
<laughs> I you're what? roboting so much, Dermot. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Where? Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> He's role playing um, a Warforge. I love it. So true. <laughs> Uh, hold on, here is my... Oh wait, no, it might not be copyright free, never mind. I was gonna make my Dermo impression. But it's like a licensed sound. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm you probably hear my Dermo, Dermo impression. I got a pretty good Dermo impression. DM are the stars out Wait, for I have a good Dermo impression ready. <laughs> That's a good one, DM. Oh That's shit, did it, even, did it even play? I didn't even hear it. No, was it was it? No, Mike's the sound? silence was good. Damn the sounds it. What the heck, man? The soundboard like is so finicky. I hear really? it every single time. Yeah, you heard it. Thirty I didn't minutes hear it. of silence followed by me apologizing. It didn't come through for me. What the fuck is that? I didn't it hear it. It sounded like Yoshi. That was BB-8. That was not Yoshi. Um, but yeah. What was um, BB-8? I'll, I'll point out an area and I'll say uh, east of this river, give or take, is their settlement. It's on the southern coast of. Of Mauritania, I would assume, because there's just mountains around it and shore. Um, hmm. But they they have a place there. I was thinking if there's a way we can get them supplies, um, perhaps they'd have a better chance of recuperating their strength and maybe even helping us take the fight straight to the vampires. Hmm. Okay, we will keep that in mind. Maybe maybe we could fund some form of uh, like underground uh, you know, way of giving them supplies without it being a obvious you know supply effort because we don't want to enrage the vampires but that they're so subjugated that it almost makes it easier for the vampires to gain power with them if that makes sense. Hmm, I see. And it keeps the vampires closer to the border. Because they have a steady food supply near the gates. If they stopped having a steady food supply near the border, maybe we could start pushing them back from Powder Domus. Well, hmm, I'm... Hmm, maybe I'm not if sure we push that... the river further east, we can choke the vampires out. No, I'm not I, uh... entirely sure of... Um, or even if I should share... Um, what exactly the long-term strategy would be in terms of whether or not we would push them past the salve. Um, that did not prove to be successful in the past. Um, push the river past them, then. Let's reverse it. Try the other way around. Yeah, is there a way we could make a, a tsunami of holy water? Just mold the earth, the whole river, get enough people molding earth, five foot spaces all the way across the country till there's no land left for the vampires and they're stuck there east of the south, which is only their own territory. Boom. Canvas free. We did it, guys. Same city. <laughs> Amazing. You know, if, if you're considering paying us even more, we could become an advisory to the king. Uh, for wartime operations, you know, it's just an option. But... <laughs> that um, she got off like as a joking suggestion, but not uh, get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just joking enough to not be taken seriously, so I don't get my head cut off. He goes. Hmm. All right. Um. Let me go Please and speak, speak with our treasure. Um. And think this over, and I will. I will return hopefully. Hey, Nessalos and I have a huddle while we wait for that. Yes. Uh, he walks off um, back into the castle along with Dirk. Okay. Okay. So we're like alone, or how? I mean, obviously the guards watching us, but like no one's in here, right? Um. I mean, you were right outside the gates where there are m multiple guards posted all the time. All right. I'll, I'll talk in like a normal hushed voice to where no. No normal people without, like, eavesdropping would hear us talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right, definitely. Cool. Did, did, no, no. He just said, nah, I'm good. Sorry, you, you cut out for me one more time. Sorry, Dermo. Uh, I just he said just no, said Zephyrus. <laughs> He's getting he wants your attention, but in like the secrecy is what he's saying. Yeah, I'll, I'll step aside with him and I'll say. Yeah, I want, I want reciprocated uh, 
Okay. The secret the secrecy. Yeah. Uh, I think that went deep and did well. Do you think we were maybe a little too soft on the uh, the requests? Maybe maybe too hard, I'm not I'm not sure. The request of for a conversation specifically. No, I think we were straightforward, right? We made a case, and he openly agreed that we're being paid too little. Right, right, but I mean, a raise, you know, sometimes, like, inflation doesn't really match the, the, the rate of raises, so, you know, maybe, I, I'm hopeful that we pushed hard enough. Termo the, uh, maybe. Termo the economist, now, I love it. Um, <laughs> listen. Termo. Maybe they uh, consider us even more uh, valuable. Ultimately speaking, do you know how much eight gold a day is? Yeah, a lot. About a week's pay to anybody who's worth their salt here. Look, I was born on a rock flying through space that is not this one. Uh, gold, to me, is already uh, meaningless. So eight of the meaningless things is... Uh, somehow less significant than I think it is to other people. So, no, I do not know how my eight gold is. The average working person gets about maybe one gold a day. We um, were... Clarification, a very skilled working person earns about one gold per day. Yeah. Yeah, well, most of any gold is like a week's worth of wages as someone who's good at their job, like I said. Who's worth their labor. in the city. But, yeah, well, not even that. A skilled labor doesn't get gold a day. Like, we're talking like Probably like apprentices to the shopkeepers, like they might make a gold a day. And then we're in a big city. We're in a big city. So you have to you have to be careful, Dermo, because here's the thing: as much as they agree for the responsibility we're taking on, we should be getting more. If we start to ask too much and whine too much, just find other people. They'll find someone who will do it for half. Well, and we see what we're worth because who they're sending out to do the jobs we're doing are like well met in the realm and we're not that well known. So it tells us these jobs are relatively important. Yeah. But yeah, ultimately, ultimately, you weren't here, Danny. Or to, uh, to yeah, you weren't here, Danny. But last there. week, we inferred last week that um, Raptor, Arian, Ozan, and um, who else was there? Starwin. Um, they were sent as. Um, the resupply or re reinforcements that we had asked for before going into Mauritania the last time. So they were the guys they sent in reaction to us being sent in. So we were like, oh, these are the guys that are replacing us? So they, they obviously taking this very seriously. That's when we started realizing our conversation is probably not going to happen. Yeah. But, All right, um, so on, on, off of the money topic, do you think we uh, need to be careful how much we divulge? Should we taper our knowledge or should we be complete open books to them are you suggesting we withhold some information so that every time we come back we always have something to sprinkle on or we always have more than we did that last may time. sound uh, tell me that come across as coach but i mean to me that keeps us uh, valuable without obviously not the things that could get people killed obviously but uh, yes, I, I mean that in a short way to say, would that be uh, immoral or would that be advantageous? I'm going to clasp Dermo on the shoulder and say, you're starting to think like a Zerosian. I was going to say, Zeros is very proud of you right now, Dermo. I'm just going to say, like, Der DM, if that is where you can, I gave it to Dermo, but that was a really good Zeros play right there. <laughs> I love it. Uh I was literally going to say it if you didn't, though. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to finish. Like, man, you you know what? You might, you might, you might have what it takes to be a Zerastian, buddy. Listen, uh, Dermo, I don't want to sound like an asshole, because ultimately, it's always in the name of the greater good. Um, Zerastianism is about being opportunistic. Your best self. Yeah. Right. Ultimately, no matter what. Zeros wants us to succeed. And we need to take the tools to succeed because they will not be handed to us. So if we are a little underhanded, if we are a little bit tricky, it's all in the name of our success and putting our best foot forward. Which is so, the greater, by the way. 
when he says greater good, it's about us. We're the greater good. Oh, there's as well. <laughs> there's no greater good. Um, but yeah. So, so no, I think that's actually a very wise idea. And I think withholding information is a very important topic to talk to yeah. others about. Because the thing is, Dermo, if I'm being straight with you, Erlock almost got us in a lot of trouble last week. I don't know what branch of Zerosian is in practices. I mean one in character oh, week point. of travel, not not <laughs> literal last week. Um, Erlok almost got us into a lot of trouble. Um, Dermo was out of that uh, Erlok, not Dermo. Um, I, I, the temple you refer to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he openly was trying to disregard the wishes of the priest there. Now, again, we're not fair to miss, right? They're, they're you gonna... young Xerosians have so much to hide. I'm going to die next week. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, again, as much as we're not fair to miss, currently that priest is very valuable to us as an ally. Yeah, right? he is. If we are going to be doing things that he wouldn't like, we should be doing them without him knowing, instead of just blatantly and telling Erlich, it to his face. Erlich, yeah, Erlich was never, if you remember, August, Erlich was like, are you going to get, he's like, don't reanimate our clergy members who have passed. And I'm like, are you going to get mad if I do it? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, I'm still going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Right. I need you to leave the premises. And I'm like, sounds good. I'm like, and then I had like, <laughs> I had the advantage stealth goblin. Out. I'm like, all right, I'm heading out. And he was like, still doing shit. Yeah. If, <laughs> if they had me on board for it, I could have granted ability. I could have granted distraction. Yeah, but then it leaves Dermo to talk to him. That's not much of a distraction. I'm not a very good talker. The man's going to be like, have you ever heard of a game called I Win? And then he's going to look over and be like, what the fuck's going on? Man's talking. Hey, maybe he'd be super into it, though. What, what, what are the chances? He might actually be like, oh, shit, this is a great game. I'm, I'm distracted for four hours. He's going to realize immediately what it is. He's in the same kingdom the guy who taught it to you is from. But that doesn't mean everyone knows it. I mean, you live in the same country as I do, but you don't know about my secret games I make up. Yeah, but I know the, your secret games aren't rock, paper, scissors, which, by the way, has like <laughs> six different names in our country. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. The point being, I do agree that there's nothing wrong with being a little bit secretive if it means giving yeah, us or a lot of bit secretive. You're a lot of You mean you're traveling with like a 98 year old camel warrior trickster? He's got a lot of secrets. He would be totally for keeping everything he can to benefit yourself. Okay. Peace I, I think peace I think I I think I understand. I will make it a point to restrict restrict while not obfuciating. I don't want to say milk that Uxenato's for all it's worth, but I did. <laughs> I'm going to go milk some camels now, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, um, otherwise I guess we're just going to wait for... Yeah, Actually, now we'll hold on now that we can chat it a little bit. If we want to check on what the other two are doing while we've been doing this. Yeah, are they locked out? Like, are they disallowed from entering, or are they just not entering... They went to the museum. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying, like, are they allowed in here? I presume they are, but, I mean, yeah. Why would we be banned from there? I'm not going to practice necromancy in, in the city. Not, not for that reason. I meant more like, one of you guys is a goblin, which is like, you know, there's a lot of ham in the first. That Goblins aren't terribly uncommon. They're just relatively uncommon. Right, but they're generally seen as... In unintelligent monsters, and there are all, random. Members. All I'm saying is, if the DM lets you play the one as a PC, it shouldn't be obscure enough for people to make you feel weird for playing everywhere you yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, it should just like be a normal dude. They dream in, like the in the fifth age, yeah. weirder shit has happened in the fifth age than a fucking an Aru walking around thinking that he's a Gobi. Am I right? 
What do you mean thinking? Weirder things have happened in this vacation. <laughs> Just ignore it. I like that. <laughs> okay, so um, after several minutes, uh, Captain Rovin and Dirk return. Um, and he says, well, I have good news for you folks. Um, after discussing with our treasurer, um, he has agreed uh, and has uh, stated that we are able to give you a significant increase in the amount of money that you guys um, are going to be paid, uh, especially considering the um, the potentially very high value, uh, increased value compared to before of, of the information that you've been able to provide us. Um, now, I believe previously... Um, uh, Dirk told me that you were being paid about 250 gold each for a month's work. Um, so we are uh, willing to double that rate to 500. It still seems low. Could, could we do... Oh, you know what? Uh, could I... Um, good question. You guys wouldn't know this if you guys are in the museum, correct? Yeah, well, this is all you guys. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to think, so... like... What I would yeah, I'm I'm more out. Out. Could I, um, could I uh, speak with animal or not speak with animal? Um, uh, animal messenger. Could I speak with animals? Animal you treat me like a dog right now. Can I just? <laughs> no, no. I have I have animal messenger. Can I use animal messenger to send a uh, a message to them to get them to uh, join us for the deliberation? I probably wouldn't have told you where I was. I just said I'll wow. see you for dinner. So, in that I case, no. Know where they are. Yes, because otherwise um, the animal was not going to find them in a huge city. <laughs> okay. Unless they Especially if they're sense indoors. Sense. Um, so he like will. He now. will. He will continue. Um, and he says. Okay, I guess we're deliberating for them. <laughs> uh, additionally, additionally, will um, based on the details that you gave us about this vampire weapon, um, we'll give you an extra. Uh, amount of gold that should cover uh, you to make two of them, nice. um, and we'll also um, uh, we'll also give uh, you guys uh, very um, uh, much more cheap and free access to our palace library uh, for any research. Is there, you need to do that are there help. any scribes uh, included with the library that may be able to answer some maybe some more esoteric questions? Esoteric. I don't know. It sounded like a cool word. I read it in Valador. I don't know what it no, means. No, it uh, it makes sense in this context. It essentially means it exotic or otherworldly. Yeah, so it, it, it did make sense. Just it meaning what you want in guy. regards to the vampires or the Majora, because both would help us. Uh, well, yeah, actually. So specifically, I guess my question would pertain, uh, pertain to getting getting confirmation of some of our questions. That way we can be more adept at uh, reacting to these creatures. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, you should be able to um, get into close contact with um, many of our researchers that spend their time in the library, which we might be able to help you with some okay. some Perfect. additional yeah, questions that's, that's while, you are, while you are researching. Here. Yes. Um, question GM. Mm hmm After they've said their piece, I'm actually very satisfied with this. They're doubling our wage and giving us two yeah, it's not magic bad. items. Like, it's the it's a good items. increase for, for what we were getting. Um, but yeah, I just want to do yeah, an insight to see if maybe I can have a gut feeling if there's wiggle room. Like, if I can possibly yeah. ask for um, more with, without, without appearing like an asshole. Uh, yeah, I, you can I, make I, a... Can I join him in that? Because that also... Counter kind of, offer. I, I that. You can make a, oh, you can make an insight, yeah. sure. Yeah, could you get advantage from me also? Kind of, uh, getting okay, hang on, let me, let me roll, let me roll. Um, what do I roll for him, though? Would it be uh, maybe deception if he's knocking eyes for, uh, you know, okay, like something yeah. if he's being honest? I'm just gonna roll this. Does uh does Evelos get an advantage from me helping him? Um, or not helping so him he looks um intrigued? he's a he's a relatively like um uh you know he's like a, he's like a military man he he looks pretty stern about kind of the um 
the amount that he's giving you. He wasn't like, oh, how about this? It was more like, we are going to give you this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Um, ultimately, you're Zephyrus saying there's is going to make the, ult Ultimately, Zephyrus is going to make the decision of the good relation they have with the Kingdom of Missilin, who have been paying them this whole time, is more valuable than any, like, a couple extra gold he can possibly get. You know, right, yeah, I think they're just more fully ruining that. Not to mention so a stable say, income, it's a nine five job, you know, you get, you get, you know, 401k, so it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Um, yes, Captain Roven, we will happily accept this payment. And, uh, in fact, we'll probably take it right now to go get that, uh, weapon commissioned. Very good. Uh, now, it doesn't include dental, so you're on your own for that. Dermo will oh, immediately... Don't worry, I, have, uh, I have a plan with <laughs> Wizard Tower. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Dermo will immediately put he his hand will... up to his jaw and be like, damn it, damn it. He will, um... Extend his hand for a, a, a good handshake, um, and then leave to, um... Who does he, wait, wait, who does he reach out to? The human Zephylos. or the monster? Zephylos, who'd yeah, been doing most of the communication. <laughs> racist. Oh, giant, giant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Humans, am I right? Okay, so he goes and retrieves the, um, the payment after just, like, two minutes. Um, and, uh, he's like, oh, well, where's the rest of your group? You should yeah, probably actually... Get them over here. He, he'll say that actually before he goes and gets the gold. I would, he would catch that. He'd be like, uh, you should probably get everybody over here. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Um, we we we'll, can't just we'll like take it to them. Uh, we should leave them here. Eh, we'd rather, we'd rather not. Uh, yeah, no, no. I'm just saying, okay, yeah. Uh, it's us, we should. Fine, fine. Yeah, come and, come and bring them back here. And, um, should we the, not? The, or do we the, 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 I'll hey, tell the guard then. to expect you back again. Okay, okay. Uh, Zephylos, do you have any goddamn idea where they're going? Uh, for now, though, he's like, uh, I'll give you the, um, I'll give you the coin for the weapons. Here is, and he, he, like, goes over to Dirk, and he's like, do you have, do you have 20 platinum pieces? And he's like, I think so. <laughs> he, like, they scramble. They scramble together. Uh, Twenty platinum pieces and hand them over. That that's for the weapons. Um, when you come back with your full okay. group, we'll give you the payment. Okay, that works perfect. And uh, you said reduced or free labor uh, from some of this. Are there specific ones, or is it just like one guy that, or you know, any of them should be fine to stop by? So he said. Pretty, uh, he guy. said. Um, so that's the funding that they think you'll need for the weapons from one of the local smiths. The thing he said was reduced was um, uh, cost to perform research uh, at oh, the okay, palace okay. Yeah, library, and also just explicit access to it. Okay, I didn't know if this was like materials and so on and so forth. So. Yeah, that's so perfect. mechanically... Okay, do you have a um, recommendation, though, uh, in terms of uh, a, a smith that you feel like would be up to this task? Mm. Uh, I don't want to just assume that any smith can do this. This seems like a very important job. Um, looks up the Varrock Sword Shop. Uh, Sorry, name's William. William wow, his, Smith. His name is literally Shopkeeper. I was hoping he would have a name. His name <laughs> is <laughs> William <laughs> Smith. God dang it! Uh, uh, Will Smith, this for us. You know, ah Will yes, Smith, Will Smith. you should um. Will, Will, Will Smith. There is Will. Smith. Does he have the will what? for it? Oh my god. There are a number of capable smiths in Varak, as you probably know. Um, Will they but, Smith? Uh, here is the location of of a good one. Um, okay. Is this trusted, or is it just one that you can say is okay? Is it what? What did you say? Uh, is this a trusted smith of the kingdom, or is this just one that you personally uh, have have worked with before? Oh, um, I uh, wouldn't that be the same? Though? I uh, I know, no, like, first it will work. Like, it, it Robin's gone and done it. Whereas it's like the king's kind of guy that he goes to. I, I know, but he's trusted smith. Wouldn't you want to go there? No, that's what I'm asking. I'm asking, like, is this just a dude that Robin knows, or is this like the guy? There. He said, like he, he says, he says, I know, um, 
multiple colleagues that have vouched for the quality at this place. Perfect. I just want to make sure we get the best quality uh, because I've had issues before with uh, getting my getting my armor made, and it's like you know they're like, oh, the warranty ends after six months, and it's like, oh, well, it took you three months to make it, so I only really get three months off on this one. So it's warranty only covers the first six months of travel. Yeah, it's terrible, and you know, you know, travel. It's just uh, rain. It's uh, terrible. Anyway. I feel like uh, I feel like I just chant my mother's, uh, you know, like when she goes shopping. <laughs> uh, I kind of lost track of where we were in, in this role play. Um, so we need to go find our big boys. Yes, you do. Okay, them, so you part. Money. You part ways with Rovin with the uh, the money to fund the weapon making. Um, oh, also, mechanically, the thing that he mentioned about the research, um, normally uh, it takes a week to do research and it costs 50 gold. Um, uh, this uh, access will reduce that to um, 20 gold. Um, They're still making yeah. it. They're paying us to to pay them back to study for their own work. So like the thing is, they still need to escort you to the library because you're still a little bit sketchy and like powerful mercenaries. <laughs> so that you know, that's a thing. Fair. <laughs> I, I think it's all it's kind of like one of those minor towns where it's like you know you have to go to the company store to to you know buy your clothes and stuff. I mean, God Barak God. is definitely a big city. Goblin, goblins totally aren't known to burn shit down. <laughs> right? Yeah, I love like, goblins. They literally yeah, have a yeah. goblin, like a hoofed animal, <laughs> a blood wizard, and a weird porcupine man. It's like, they gotta keep an eye on this these people. You could Which have said porcupine Erla? man. Which one is Erla? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really think that you could have just He's left the off porcupine the first man. The uh, porcupine man, not really the extra adjective, but it's fine, I understand. Uh, so what have Dobson and Ehrlich been doing this whole time? The museum. Um, um okay. I don't remember I would like to... a museum. Hmm. I would have, would have seen it passing in and out of the Eastern Gate, I'm sure. Would you have? Is there a museum well, in Barak? People are coming in and out uh, with wheelbarrows of dirt constantly because of the dig site I imagine was with the edge. Are people coming in and out with wheelbarrows of dirt? You're the DM! <laughs> and you tell me if they're a museum or not! Good question. I never really just gave it any serious thought. Um, uh, let's let's see. Does it make sense I, I in a medieval fantasy world that's more realistic than a video game for there to be an open access museum um in the big in the capital hmm. near maybe, one of the chapels maybe. with a bunch of religious stuff i would say probably yeah from the crusades that possibly the... um i feel like i would focus it more on like the research aspect of it than like which is what being, like a public like building for visitors yeah Erlich would um, consider himself a religious scholar, so this would be right in his wheelhouse. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's more like a like a research facility. Um, I don't know what the what a good like medieval fantasy word would be for that kind of building. Um, sure. We can call it artifacts studying area because they are like religious artifacts in there from the god wars i imagine they're relatively powerful and people are studying them yeah That's, um so humans now have access so to there is stage. one of those um a research place um in the like east of the city because yes it is close to where the ruins are and stuff um uh whether or not you can get in there is another question <laughs> Well, you know, here in uh, here in Texas, we actually have free admission to museums on Thursdays. So, like, you know, maybe maybe that could be a thing too. <laughs> well, here's the here's the thing. Yeah, well, we already pass. established that it's Sunday explicitly. Would I not pass? Um, would I not pass 
the research area inside of the city on my way to see all the Ceredomus lemmings leave church? Um, Ooh. maybe. Um, I'd, probably, I'd probably meander into the church to uh, question one of the Ceredominists. Sure, you do that. And, and find out about this research facility nearby. Uh-huh. Yeah, you do that. Uh, um, crazy lemmings. That, that was a nice uh, little little uh, backhand. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as the sermon lets out, I would ask uh, what that... I would ask one of the brothers or sisters of the clergy, I'd ask him, uh, what's this... What uh, are the cousins? Can we ask cousins of the clergy? What's this... Stuff? What's this building next door here that I see that smells of dirt? Hmm. Uh, they, uh, they do research there on some old, um, old Mistalin artifacts and, and things. Bunch of scholars. I would, uh, nerd <laughs> I would express that I consider myself a scholar of the same field. How would one get into, um, studying there if it is a school i'm a young man mm. looking to get an education i would say oh um, i'm not sure most of them performed research as apprentices um you know when they were uh when they were young adults well i have time still as i too am a young adult i would say hmm how would I get engaged in this? Do I just knock on the door? Uh, I, I'm, to not, marry you I'm not that. sure. Thank you very much, and I'll leave to go knock on the door. <laughs> I'm still an old man, so. Uh huh. Do they buy my deception of being saying I'm a young man? Uh, no, not at all. Cool. I'm going to disguise, the I'm gonna disguise myself. Uh huh. I'm gonna disguise myself on the way to the door as yeah. a young. Not as well. What are you doing to do that? I have disguised self in the witchery. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So you disguise yourself as a younger version of yourself with your magic. Y yes, a very, like, like, uh, like, uh, however young Zephylos is, because he's, like, young and cocky and he's full of, you know, full of energy. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so, alright, you do that, and... Do you change anything else about your appearance, or is this exactly no, what you look like? No, all my time? gear, like, I got the grandpa weight, I got it all, I'm just young looking, I'm just, all the wrinkles are... No, 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 I mean, I mean, are you, are you mirroring it after what you actually look like at that age, or is this just your ideal version of what you look like just, I'm just, I'm scaling, age? yeah, I'm scaling the proverbial clock back 75 years to look like a young Urlock, yeah. A DM is no, he hot? No one would be the wiser. Uh... Well, no. the desert is hot, so by default, many of the Thanatos are hot. Can I, can I get a 1 through 10 uh, of Dermo's ideal uh, of what, you know, young or luck looks like? Like, is this one of those things like, ooh, if I was 10 years younger? 1 through 10? 1 through yeah, 10? Yeah. yeah, okay, let me roll that. Yeah. Yeah, roll okay, it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that that was a good uh, that was a good detail. Thing too, I'm really glad. Yeah, I'm really glad. He's a he's a camel warrior. What do you expect? <laughs> what do you roll? I can't see it. A two. <laughs> oh, oh my! So you can say I'm, well, you can say I'm pretty fucking handsome. I I asked him to repeat one through ten, and he said yes. So I rolled a d4. <laughs> oh, oh, nice, nice. Uh, could I could I let um. Can I let young Erlek know? I was like, hey, uh, you're are you there? You, you look like you have a really good personality. Are you are you there with me? I no, I, you I'm, just, I'm, I'm, just, no, I'm making a joke here. I'm making a joke. You wouldn't be there for it though. No, no, no. I, yeah, I get that. I'm saying, I'm saying that. Uh, never mind. We'll move on. Yeah. It was a ha ha. I'm an old. I'm, a, I'm an old man. Disguised as a young man. Now. Well, the yeah, man go young there on the door, looking like a young Fanatus. All right, so you go and do that, um, and a um, who even an oldish man um, uh, comes and and uh, answers the door, 
He's like, oh, uh, hello. I'll can give I... a I'll give a small bow. Can I help you? Um, Do you gonna sound I... like an old man though? <laughs> I um, I would ex I would explain that I am. A young acolyte <laughs> looking to study ancient relics and to learn of our pasts. Uh huh. Uh, you and weren't... I was I was steered from the Church of Ceredomen here um, to uh, to take take an apprenticeship as I am uh, a young a young ward looking for uh, guidance, so to speak. Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. he's using really old people language. Does he also sound like an old man? Uh, yes, I do. I'm using. My yeah, own I don't think you would be able to change that. So, can you make a deception for me, please? You got it. <laughs> You're like this young, like hot young guy. Just be like, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm a young man. It's uh, quite serendipity. Smoking, you know, I'll deal to that to you. I just love imagining an old man wearing like a young guy outfit. <laughs> He's like wearing vans and holding a skateboard. Yeah, how do you do, fellow children? <laughs> nice. Okay. Um. So he's like, okay. Um. How do you do, fellow young? I I don't know that I've. Uh, we've uh, accepted want someone quite like you before um do you have any Just in time to do such a thing do you awesome. have any experience with uh with field work i have spent most of my life in the field i'll say i've almost spent a decade of time huh. um what what t <laughs> tell me about what what you've done i have traveled from the great deserts of karen all the way to the northern borders near where the wilderness begins in the Ferendri, though I have not trekked out that far. I've gone as far east as uh, past the river south into vampire territory, and you'll see my hands do like a like a kind of vampire hand, you know, like they do when they're walking with the hands out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I've far I've gone as far west as Ardone and seen some of the monsters that live in the city there, and I'll give them a wink. It says, my life is full of adventure. I could tell you if you let me in the door, though I'm not a vampire, and I'll give him another wish. <laughs> um, well, what what brings you here, then? I expressed it. This building comes to study the relics. You look, you're, too, you're too qualified for this resume. They're going to see it and be like, damn, there's no way he's sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> um... But it's a little unusual for someone to just kind of appear like this. Um, I'm a bit unusual, I'll say. I'm not really sure where to begin. <laughs> begin by giving me a job here. And I'll, like, gesture with my arm and I'll say, letting me in. <laughs> hmm. I'm, like, peeking my head trying to get a look inside. I'm so curious what's going let on. Me, let me see if anyone is in need of an apprentice. I'm not Indeed. sure that anyone is right now. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. I rolled a four on D100. That's twice wow. as good as a DL That's guy. twice as good as his handsomeness score. Yeah, that's the mobs are looking pretty. <laughs> okay. looking my favorite. So, he'll come back a few minutes later and he's like, uh, yeah, we, uh, we don't really, we're not really looking for any more apprentices right now. Sounds uh, good. I'll be here tomorrow. I I'll just walk appreciate off. your interest, though. I'll walk off after he says, uh, he says I have a job to see you tomorrow, is what Erlick heard, and says, sounds good, see you tomorrow. Uh, he'll just leave. <laughs> just close the door. He, just took, he took rejection so well to that. I don't, know, like, yeah, okay. I don't know the city well, so I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna head back to any particular. I'm just gonna roam off into the city. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Very much in this okay. room. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going in the city. I'm just leaving the museum. What right um? Now. What is Dobson up to? Uh, I went straight to the library. 
Uh, well, it's in the palace, so probably not. Um, I was trying to get to the library. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, you probably went with Zephylos and Dermo. And then after we got paid, I would have gone straight to the library. Okay, so uh, the party then has to find Urluck, um <laughs> wandering around the city. Um, it's survival of role, though. <laughs> Uh, or am so, I doing the survival? <laughs> and you're doing animal handling. Track the, track the Thanatos. How hard could it be? I love it. Yeah, right. You had one job, guys. Okay. So, um, it takes you guys, like, an hour and a half. But eventually the find group Urlach. of three that was together finds Urluck wandering about the city. I uh, fell asleep in the sun rays. He's fairly easy to find because he's so large. <laughs> What hunter level do oh. you need to find, Urluk? I fell um, asleep in a sunray like like an old man would. Uh, I don't know that you can hunt camels in RuneScape, so... Uh, eventually you find him. Uh, reunite. Uh, and yeah, then... Yeah, 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 camel warrior, level 96 slayer, dude. Who's got eye slayer? I he said hunter. Oh, right. Slayer, though. Well, we're not trying to kill you yet. <laughs> sure you are. Well, well, if you're not trying to kill me, you better start, because that makes one of us who's not trying to kill me. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the ways of Erlok are so mysterious. Are you sure Erlok's not a millennial? Maybe. No. Maybe. <laughs> he is. A, he is a millennial. He, he is a millennial. He's a millennial. Is at the end of the fifth age. Is when you at the, the well, he's a centennial, age. honestly. Yeah, it turns. Um. So once you have been brought back together, uh, you find Erlok snoozing somewhere, uh, like usual. Uh, get him up and then return to the palace gates. Um, at which point, Rovin uh, quickly returns after he's called um, with a uh, let's see, a total of let's see, it'd be two thousand gold, so that's two hundred platinum. Um, a lot of area, honestly. So yeah, um, fifty platinum for each of you guys. Um, uh, let's see, he already gave you the money for the rods. So e each of you should be getting, uh, 50 plat, um, yeah, plus... No, we're, we're gonna just call the, we're gonna call the cost of getting the, the weapons made pretty much null. We'll just remember that we have it when we go to Yeah, buy. I mean, I, so I, I'm just gonna, for call it simplicity's voucher. sake, um... Yeah, two voucher would be a better... Like two IOUs from the like kingdom would be easier than trying to track the gold split. Yeah. Okay. So he'll we'll do it that way. And so actually, I I think I wanted to do it we'll that way. But um, we'll call it a uh, King R I O U. Yeah. King so he he do, he does give you um uh like two notes with like a royal stamp on it mm -hmm. um that uh, basically says that the the um, kingdom will fulfill like a work order <laughs> describing what it's supposed to be it specifically says to cannot be used for alcohol or uh or hot goods has a value hot of one, one hundredth of one copper piece yeah, yeah otherwise is, is good for one redeemable value equal to the item that it's good for or one copper piece or anything else yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. Cannot be used with other coupons. It expires be December first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, expires so one fifty nine. Uh, so everybody should be getting uh that amount, um, of coins, and the two vouchers or whatever. Okay, so uh, what now? Like one voucher per person per transaction. I know what Dobson's gonna do. What's everybody like else going to gonna do? <laughs> or let's go to the bank. Um, you know, it's going to travel uh, with big coins. How much are we um, each given? My apologies. 50, 50 platinum. Uh, 50 platinum. Or 500 yeah. gold. 
yeah, 50 platinum uh, divided however you'd like into your smaller currencies. Which is almost enough to afford a, uh, a membership of the YMCA. Erlark's going to go break down some of this gold into silver. Mm hmm. You can do that whenever uh, you want in a city. Hey, hey, uh. Yeah, I'm going to do that, though. That's careful, if we anyway. do have to go back to Mauritania, remember, silver's not bueno. Yeah, Erlark forgot already, so. Okay, so like, is that a conscious choice you're making as a meta decision, or it's like you actually forgot? Um, you don't want to I really wish he probably would have remembered that before I wrote it down, but here we are. Alas, our luck has silver. All right. Hey, actually, it could be coming handy, maybe. Just start th here throwing we're... silver coins. Yeah, Somebody yeah. learned catapult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, use them as weaponry in a crossbow. What we gotta do? No, what we do is we heat heat metal, a stack of silver coins, and then get <laughs> get the, get the goblin to make some kind of tech that yeets them like a slingshot. Yeah. Ooh, like yeah, that. molten molten silver as a weapon. Molten, what would the, uh... molten slag silver? How fucked up. <laughs> We're not here to. It's like, hey, uh, we're not here to do uh, kill the vampires. We're here to fucking scar you so bad you never want to fuck with us again. <laughs> Deform your entire species. You're gonna be drinking out of. You're gonna be drinking blood out of straws. <laughs> I mean, technically, they already do. The straws are just in their teeth. Right? I mean, because the lips are fused shut from a melted silver that got slung out of them. I feel like you're getting more. Yeah, I want to play on the right. I love it. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I mean, I, I miss playing a barn. What it is. <laughs> Can I use the severed head as a weapon? Yeah, it's improvised. It's your hand in its skull. It's not an unarmed strike anymore. It's a it's a it's a it's a head butt. Now, now we had talked previously about how the banks work. Is that you know you kind of do this and that, and it's not like you don't get uh, increased. Like it just it just holds your money, right? And you have to return to the same one. It's not just like a universal bank. Um, uh, in our, in our the, world, there's not really a benefit of it, right? Cause yeah, like, I I really don't care that much for inventory management. So like, if you need to switch coins, okay. it really doesn't matter. Okay. Gotcha. Is there a coin lower than copper that we can go to? Can I trade for acorns? <laughs> acorns? <laughs> Someone will take your money in exchange wood. for a handful of acorns. <laughs> gold, you know, why would expect as much as little as from a druid, but not from you, Erla. Where I'm from, we trade sand for hotter sand. Sand now, for more it, sand. I, uh, I don't Everything's remember where sand. I saw it. But didn't you post that the rod of Invalis can be like made into a different shape, like a finesse shape? Yeah. Yes. Um, series. Even so, a right? A with one of them. Uh, let me see. I think I put it in resources. So, yeah. Either uh, a Dermo believes that um, with the blessing from a druid of significant prowess. He might be able to uh, imbue a rod of Ivandus with the druidic energy to um, make it um, be able to be imbued with uh, shillelagh, um, even though it's not made of wood. Or, or uh, another idea is that um, let's see what I have. What had I written down before? With a few days downtime and a nominal amount of gold to perform some research, an alternate finesse version of the rod with scimitar or dagger stats could be redesigned. So, finesse. Uh, finesse D6, I think that would be. D6 uh, or D4. Four on scimitar, four on dagger. Yeah, so, yes. Um, and I'd say... Then, um... I guess you have vouchers, so they'll just do it anyway. Because I was only going to charge like an extra 10 gold for that, so it doesn't really matter. Well, realistically speaking, we should definitely make one staff, because Dermo actually uses his staff. Yeah, so I was thinking about that. Would it be possible to transfix my icon to the top of the Ivanda staff? 
Probably. Yeah, I mean, I, I also don't want to hog it though. Also, you know, the same way. Like I already have my ancient staff. I don't. You know, if you guys would benefit from a a type of weapon, I don't want. You already, to you already know what my vote is, but Dobson said he doesn't want the boots of Vivandus. <laughs> the boots. I want the goblin to go around kicking all the vampires in their shins with silvered boots, but what am I? You know, well, that's a terrible idea, that silver-toed boots. I'm still voting for that, though, so whatever you guys decide, I don't care if it's not that. If it's not that, it's inferior to goblin boots. Question, your Kopesh is uh, rune current, right? I do want to say that I I paid two fifty to plus one it, not silver it. Yes. Well, because here's here's my thought process. I have a silvered weapon already. Mm -hmm. Right. I have um, wolfbane. Right. Um, yeah. So I'm not really hurting for one. Um, it'd make a lot of sense on Dermo for one of the two. Especially if we go to like the nature spirit in the swamp and just have him do the blessing. I'm not using a ton of um, melee. Is the thing. None of us are, right? Um, yeah. So the, uh, that's what I'm saying. That's why I, I suggested the boots memingly because that uh, we were trying to figure it out and no one really uses it besides this. I'm I'm here for yeah the silvered staff. It'd be sick. Well, uh, Dermot would look tight with one, and we could make him you know use it real good. But I don't really have a use. For Let's do the staff first. We'll go have it blessed by the priest of Serdamin in town to finish it. Secondary then... idea. Why don't we get me a set of silvered hooves so when I rush people I can start stomping down some vampires because I have that ability, don't I? I think I've used my hooves, my kick ability, more than I've used my kopesh. Can I have a silvered kick? Yeah. Uh... That'd be fucking tight to have hooves that were just silvered. Maybe. <laughs> Give me some silver shoes, Zephalos, then we're talking. Well, here's the thing. Once we have the first one made, we can cast Identify on it, see what it really does, and then based on that information, we can tell who the next one should go to. What, are we reverse engineering it now? Well, because here's the thing. You don't if, entirely if, know yeah, what it's going to do. You just know, know how to make it. it. And then it's going to be good for vampires. Yeah, so let's say Let let's it. say its only magical benefit is that it can do the killing blow of a vampire, right? We'll put that on Dobson, right. because at least Dobson now has that option to do it if Dobson's in that situation. Whereas right. if it's something that needs to be consistently done, like every turn you get this benefit against vampires, it'd be better with either yourself or me, because we actually you use say you or, weapon. Even you or Dermo, because I'm buffing a lot of the time. Well, and I, I cast Booming Blade. Right? So. True. Yeah. That's so what I'm saying. Depending it. on the wording, it might change who I would vote for to get the second one. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying there. I think um, out of the meta information, I think um, a silvered Kopesh would be the only, in the only instrument that he would use other than maybe silvered shoes, which he would use to kick. I was going to say, for, for Wait, 10 let's get, Platinum, let's get the for, for 10 Platinum, you can just silver your Rune a Kopesh. Five platinum. Is yeah, I don't. Gold? I mean, it's fifty gold to silver a weapon or a bundle of ammunition. Wow. In this economy. Oh, nice. Great. Okay, well that leaves me with some ideas. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll probably spend. I'll probably spend uh, fifty gold to silver kopesh then. Okay. Um, yeah, you, there are plenty of places here that you can do that. No problem. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Pretty much any smith can take care of that. Any weapon smith, I guess I should say. Oh, it's already silvered, it says on my thing. Oh. I did pay to get silvered. Yeah, yeah okay. I think I remember that, actually. Cool. Yeah, it's it's yeah. silvered, so I don't have to. Yeah, that's why I was partially when I was broke as a joke. Um, you know what I will pick up while I'm in town here, DM? Yep. Um, I would like to yoink myself a diamond worth 300 gold. Okay, that will be 300 gold. Yeah, and then I'm going to go to the party and I'm going to say I would like 50 gold from every or 75 gold from everybody so I can save whoever needs it next. I wonder what he needs a 300 gold diamond for. 
Yeah. Is everyone cool with chipping in for me to revivify whoever needs it in case we need it? Is that sure. cool? Alright. Throw me 75 gold and I'll pick up a diamond. It's extorting you guys for insurance. <laughs> I will do so. Why did you just roll 75? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just uh, I was doing math. Sorry. <laughs> Bring me down. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. Oh shit, it was private. Six, God, dang. Six, okay. okay. Hey, sorry, I, I got I'm muted up for a second. Now I'm back. Add a diamond. Actually, I can, can I, I, I pay up. change my mind on going to the library first? or something else I want Really? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> um, well, remember last time I was here, I went looking for something. Oh, yeah, what was that? Shoot. It's in our DMs. Is everyone paying 75 gold? How if you far don't, up that's in more for everyone else. Uh, let's see. Zephyrus, are you uh, paying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dermo, okay. are you paying? Uh, yes, I will pay whatever um, is managed for. So it, I will say that it has been enough time to attempt this again. Um, and I think I'll let you do it in the same way. Okay. Could Dermal also give the same uh, or higher level of treatment uh, that he got last time in terms of cleanliness? Oh, for sure. Um, I don't even know how much it cost. It, you literally charged me so little. That I think I was, it was like, like two gold, gold or something because like it was, it was that type that of labor time, is like really cheap. Be willing to spend that much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's so little that I wouldn't even consider. I don't know. That yeah. might not be a high enough roll for to get anything. No. Um. Let's see. <laughs> so, uh, the number one thing I'm looking for is the pearl of power. Yeah. Okay. So I think the way that I wanted to handle this was like, these might exist, um, but they might just not. No matter how good you roll. So, um, let me see. I think I have. I think I had a document of things that are existing. Uh, oh wait, I have a table and foundry for this kind of stuff? Yes, I think I do. Um, let's see, when was this? July 6th? Let me search this up to see what I did. Oh wow, okay. I did not acknowledge this in the chat. <laughs> Cause after this we're just talking about Gen Con. Um Hey DM, could we vote to talk about Gen Con? Uh ba 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 Okay, let me do a D one hundred roll to see if there happen to be a good thing these things around. Hey guys, I'm stopping by McDonald's. Does anyone want anything? I can get like an apple pie or something if you like. Okay. Uh, I'll take that as a no. No one gets an apple pie. Womp womp. Well, except for me. I'm gonna get an apple pie. But not you. Okay, I already had pumpkin pie today. Like an actual pumpkin pie, or like like those cheap little pumpkin pies? Actual pumpkin pie. Oh my god! So here's pumpkin a pumpkin pie tree. I've been begging for a good pumpkin pie recently, and we just haven't had the time or effort. I'm really considering just going and getting this stuff right now <laughs> to make like a big ass pumpkin pie. I've been craving it so bad, and it's like fall time. It's the perfect time for it. Like. Uh, <laughs> There's never a bad getting, time. I'm getting Don't duplicate do rolls on things. That is interesting. There's a checkbox to turn that off. Yeah, I know. But I didn't. It's too lazy. I'll just roll it again. Did I even put um, rune weapons didn't. on here? No, okay, no, that's not even on here. You didn't. Do, 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 one more. You checked and you didn't. Okay, so... um. Out of the three that you are specifically looking for, I can say this in the chat, right? That's fine. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so out of the three things that you were specifically looking for, um, you did find someone that had the slippers of spider climbing. Um, I forget how rare that is, so I'll, I'll figure out how much that would cost. Right. Like, you also located um, a staff of air, an amulet of strength, and a staff of fire. Wow, so we're free to play noobs? So you can get a strength item for the very strength using party. <laughs> Oh, now, uh, like a belt of, belt of the giant belt clippers of uncommon? Yeah, they are. Everything the everything that I asked for was uncommon. Okay. Oh, are the boots uncommon? That's nice. Uh, let's see. So are all of the things that I had you also find. Um, how much are the slippers of spider climb? Uh, let me check my notes. Uh, oh, I did have a document about this. This is from before, though, so I'm not using this. So, the slippers uh, are going to be um, 300 gold. The staves are 200, and the amulet is 300. So the amulet was 300? Yeah. Um, I am... Absolutely. I'm going to buy them slippers. Okay. Alright, uh, that will take probably all of the downtime that it will take to get that weapon back, so mm -hmm. Dobson will be done. Uh, question? Yeah. Uh, for my downtime, mm -hmm. I'm looking for a specific item. If I can't find uh -huh. it, you know, Kesara. Uh, but I'd like to see if I can find an Arcane Grimoire. What the heck is an Arcane Grimoire? The Rod of the Pack Keeper, but wait a Oh, is that like? Uh, hang on, let me see. Pretty much one of the best items for women. Um, uh, uh, Tosh, yes. Tasha's came out with like essentially a raw the pack keeper, but for every spellcaster. Yeah. Okay. So it's plus one. I mean, um, are we hunting items? Are we spending downtime hunting items? Because I have an item I want to. Um, I like an amulet of the devourer. That is what one. some of them are doing. Um, so it's plus one to DCs and attack rolls. Um. And you get one extra arcane recovery slot. Hmm. And this is uncommon as well. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can attempt to do that. So it is gonna be. Um. Uh, it's gonna take three days downtime, which is about what I'm gonna say the weapon takes. Um, to make. Um. And it costs 50 gold uh, spent in resources, favors, and etc. to perform the search. Ooh, and you must make a persuasion or investigation check um, to search around all over the city. Or one of Can these. I search for an amulet of the devout in the same way? Uh, yeah, is that the same thing but the cleric version? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if we're doing it, let's do it. Yeah, okay, let me just make sure that I don't disagree with its existence. It just gives me an extra... I'm not a big uh, fan of, um, of, like, DC bonuses in, like, such low rarity items. Oh, no, it's not um, DC. It gives, me an, it gives me access to an extra charge of the challenge. No, it, it does also nice. increase your it DC. It does level. also give you a bonus to spell it attack and I'm, DC. I'll be honest with that. you, DM, I'm genuinely okay with just having an extra charge. If you want to give me that, just give me an extra divine charge, because that's kind of a hassle for me early on. <laughs> I don't need the DC. Um, okay, if you find one, 
you know what? I'll give you a version that doesn't have the DC thing and it'll be cheaper. <laughs> yeah, cheaper and easier to find because I don't think I'm good at finding anything. I just sure. want... All right, go I mean, ahead. If, I, and... if, I, if a higher DC does find me the good one, then sick, but, like, I'm cool with it. Uh, what do I need? Investigation uh, or what? Investigation or persuasion. Hmm. Cephalos with a pretty meh roll to one of his better bonuses. Okay. Yeah, this is going to have to be... Uh... Wait, quick oh question. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Erlok, you... does... <laughs> Because I have nothing but downtime and I'm not looking for anything. What? Say that again. Would I be able to assist either of these guys in their hunt for what they're looking for? Since I am just being like taken care of, I'm not like looking or doing um, anything. Yeah, if you also spend the time and spend the fifty gold, um, then yeah, you can do that too. And oh, so I'd also have a... to spend the same amount to help them yep. look for that. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, guys. I wouldn't That's worry about it. Yeah, but I, but I sponsor Dermo to help me, because I'm... <laughs> yeah, I'll go half and half with you. If you want to do, like, a half and half, you pay the 25, I'll pay 25. I mean, I'll, when you... I'll give it, I'll give it a no, little go he later. Wants to, I think he wants to spend an extra 50 just to have you come with him. <laughs> and give it yeah, yeah, just to hang out. Just, like, you know, I don't want to be alone. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, if, yeah, if he wants me to, if he specifically requests this especially, then I'll, I'll go half and half, I'll do 25 and... Uh, yeah, this, this meme board. finds its way in our campaign way too much. <laughs> what, we, what we, post, we post the, we ain't found shit me. <laughs> found anything? Yeah, Not yet, one. sir. We, 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 we roll shit. perception so low. That we might as well all be half blind, 100 year old and sit out of There's a, it cut off the second guy, but there's a second guy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'll assist uh, Zephy and see what we can find. The last time we had a right, high so... perception or nature roll, I think it was when we had all the oh, Okay, so all that right, is going to yeah, cost him... settling on 14. That's going to cost him an extra 50 gold to bring Dermo <laughs> along. 50 gold to realize um, Dermo doesn't help you much. <laughs> unfortunately. No. Okay, Luckily, so... Dermo didn't offer to go half these, so... We're hurting less, but it still hurts. Let me see what pitiful selection of us. So Erlik does not find anything because he rolled so bad. Um, but I'll I'll give you a sympathy f item found. Who's making that noise? I don't know, but it sounds like it could be August. August, you sound like you're an airplane in an airplane, sir. <laughs> sound like you are an airplane. <laughs> you sound like an airplane. Um, I specifically am in an airplane. Okay. Uh, let's. It's pretty fly, dude. Take a look at my random items table. I'm surprised you can hear that because I'll, I'll just. Oh, nice. I'm still going. I'm still going to have access to buy a random item that isn't going to help me probably. I love it. Probably Here's not. What you Actually, <laughs> well, no, you find literally nothing, but I'm finding something for Zephyr. So this 14. Oh, uh, I found nothing for my one. Yeah, that makes sense. Nothing. Uh. We'll try again. All right. These are all uncommon, I think. I, th I feel like with a 14, you can get, like, one crappy uncommon for a bad price. Um. I don't know. I keep rolling things that I had before. <laughs> Bro. Give me something different. Okay. Uh, Cephalos, you find a magic short bow that somebody is selling... For probably more than it's worth. Yeah, I um, at 500 gold pieces. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass. But I will let hey, wait, okay. the... What's, what's um, cool about the bow? I'm, I'm interested. What, what's cool about the bow? Uh, the person that owns it describes it as um, being, first of all, uh, uh, significantly better in quality than an ordinary short bow. Uh, right, and it can also... Bow. It can also attack more frequently uh, using its magic than an ordinary. He calls it, he calls it the better quality, faster shooting. It uses, uh, it's made from magic logs from magic trees. Oh shit, magic short bow, nice. Wait, is it magic because it comes from the tree or is it magic because it's been enchanted specifically? Uh, good question. <laughs> yeah, fair. I don't you know, believe the uh, owner of this item would know that. <laughs> what color is it? You, since you own it, you should be able to tell me. 
they they don't know how it was made. They just know what that it is. Uh, so it has a um, uh, a very nice uh, sort of light bluish color. Uh, and you can <laughs> see it, like, visibly sparkles in the wooden parts. Dermo's a druid. Um, Make him do a nature check. Has bright he seen white. a tree that has this kind of wood? Could I, could I convince okay. him to let me check it over and see, like, how real and how authentic this bow is? To verify um, it. Man doesn't even know if it's a magic tree. He what do you, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to do a investigation check, maybe, or, like, I'd like to look it over and see... Probably, I just want to know more about that shit, man. Probably Arcana. Yeah, let me do an Arcana check, but like I'm gonna do it, uh, and uh, and I also have never shot a bow before, and I yeah. also have never seen a magic tree, and I <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, so you no, know like no. nothing about these materials, but yeah, you can you can try to get an insight on the uh, how the magic behaves. Can with I? Arcana check. Uh, can I ask you to roll for me because I'm still on an airplane? Yes, sir. Uh, you have proficiency in Arcana, sir. I know I do. Um, I'm, I'm kind of however, surprised. that will gi so give you only a six, so you're really not sure what kind of magic is on here. It looks magical, though, because it's sparkly. Yeah, so it's glitter, and I hate glitter. Uh, so I will put it, I'll, I'll say thank you. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I'm willing to buy it just yet, but I appreciate your time. He's like, all right, okay, let's suit yourself. I'm gonna turn this up, listen, be like, what a load of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed a little pricey, and I don't use both. Um, yep. Well, okay. rip 100 gold. Okay, um. <laughs> I, I would like to uh, let the people at the palace know, however, that I am. Because, you know, rich people come into all sorts of odds and ends. I'll I'll describe the captain like next time we're over there, just like what kind of like enhanced spell book I'm looking for. So if they happen to uh, come across it, or if they have connections with the tower, um, if they can try to get one for me the next time I'm back in town, it'd be helpful. Okay. Uh, he'll be like, yeah, okay, we'll keep an eye out, and then I need you to remind me about that when we get back here next time. Sure. Like, and some folks even say, I'll even take it as my payment for the next time I come in. Okay. I, I don't know. Hey, you might want to do the math and figure out if that's, uh, like, statistically worth it, but... I mean, it would for just... an uncommon is not bad. It would probably just be, yeah, you know, good. whatever the value of the item is. No, I, I'm just validating that, you know, putting that on the mind, like, okay, Let's what's the easy to do? What are, what are my usual scroll costs... Um, so normally an uncommon item is between 100 and 500 gold. Um, mm -hmm. oh, here we go. Scrolls, um, second level scroll I had at some point listed as 120 and third level scroll I had listed at 200 at some point. I don't know if I'm keeping those numbers, but that's what I've had in the past. I like those numbers because if you, you want a them. cantrip scroll, <laughs> you can get it for twenty gold. Question: Is the cantrip scroll like it teaches you a cantrip, or is no? It, it, you I literally do. can't transcribe cantrip scrolls. They're only yeah. single use at, for every class. Would you say this the level spell scrolls were worth? Um. Uh, currently, I may change these, but but at at some point, I had them. Um, at these prices that I'll put in the chat for posterity. Oh my god, it made the chat head for death say it. <laughs> Classic. I'm assuming this is uh, for spells that don't have components worth more than whatever the cost uh, is. Oh matter. yeah, if the if there's a material... I forget if the material component... Yeah, you have to use it to make the item. So yeah, the yeah. If it has a consumed valuable component, Add that it, would, the it value. would be in addition to this. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to mute up. Um, just run inside a store. I'll be I... right back. Okay. Um, who didn't do their downtime yet? Nobody found a smith yet, but I'm going to assume that you went to one 
like the one that he I didn't. said. I didn't need to get anything so. silver to our Alright, um... Uh, so after, like, four days, they, around when everyone's done with their other downtime things, the smith has prepared your item as you wanted it. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the, um, the blessings that were described in the, um, in the, uh, dead Ivandis' riddle. Uh, so it has the, it's made of Sylvthrill, um... Uh, which the smith notes is a uh, fairly fickle material, um, difficult to work with. Um, it is adorned with the di uh, the uh, not diamond sapphire as described, um, and in uh, uh, kind of this the shape that you guys had noted. Uh, two shield scrolls. <laughs> um, well, I mean, scrolls are not just like readily available all the time. But you yeah, know could make fine. you a shield scroll and would probably take your money for it. Zephlos. <laughs> um, and he's not using those in the city this week, so I guarantee you he would be down for it. Zephlos, you want to make 100, 100 gold? Make me a couple scrolls? Uh, sure, it is a spell I know, so I believe I'm allowed to do scroll crafting. Yeah, you can do that whenever you want. Cool. I'm going to give him as a, as we'll the a gold we'll the call it a discount of 20 gold for being the roasting, 100 gold for two scrolls, and you can spend that while you're doing whatever. Yeah. Well, can, can, I, can, I, can I save you some trouble? <laughs> scrolls can I can't make cast by spell. people who can cast spell. Oh, yeah. Clerics don't have shield. Can I, they? Can I not access? Oh, I guess. It, I, I don't I think it's on the cleric list. No. That's like a forge cleric spell. Or it's like not, like a, spell it's or not like a glyph where the, the magic that no. is, is the person no, what put you it want, in there. The, it needs to be on your spell list. Gem. Spell gems work like that. Scrolls don't. Yeah, I need a spell gem. That's what I need. Yeah, scrolls right, are close to useless for everyone that's not a wizard, unfortunately. Well, no, scrolls are great. You want to collect they're pretty scrolls good for me your too. Because they're extra yeah. spell slot, right? When you boil it well, down. Yeah. Sure. There are actually spell slots, and I don't have to, I don't have to sleep to prepare something, so if I need utility, no. they're good. That's what I was Not only about. that, but if the spell has material cost, okay. you don't need the material for the scroll. So the scroll revivify just revivifies. You don't need the gem. Right. Well, you don't need it when you cast it. Yeah, you need right. it to make the, the scroll, too. but yeah. if you buy the scroll yeah, we talk at a reasonable anyway, price... I guess what I, um, what I should have said is they're not, like, practical to locate... I guess. Damn, I'll it's get. Like, I'll. I'll, yeah. I'll spend. I'll spend that. I'll spend that gold instead. Um, I'll get myself a um, scroll of old person. If you could, if I could find one. Does Cephalos have that spell? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I have. I have. He has I that have one that too. Spell. I have that spell. I'd be able to make it. Cephalos now, can make Urlock, one. there's one thing I want to warn you about with this as well. When you cast from a scroll doesn't use your magic. It uses the squirrel's magic, which on average could be weaker than your own. DM, yeah, what I'm saying is, is the level? thing is, I, I, I can make this, DM. Yeah, why can't I just make it? Um, you don't yeah, know how to make scrolls. I can't make scrolls as a as a player? I don't think so. I okay. think it uses the um, the spell book. Uh, no, yeah, it's a, it's a wizard feature. Cool. Uh, but the thing is, he may be a whole uh, person scroll. Zephyrus. His the what his non-meta commentary is translating to. <laughs> spell scrolls have their own DC and attack roll. You don't they don't use yeah. that. Yeah, I I I mean, it's 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 gonna is it still gonna be a wisdom save? Is it gonna have your DC? Uh, it's not gonna have my DC. It's gonna have a level one or a level two spell scrolls DC, which I think is like thirteen. 13. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm just looking it up to confirm that. Yeah, I mean, whole person isn't for, like, a big bad. It's for, like, getting someone you want to question in a paralyzed state. In my opinion, at least. Where experience. does it say that in the wizard class? So I definitely want to. I definitely want to get. I can. I can copy spells down no, I'll never in other that. books for half their cost. Or or half well, because it's it's copied from my own original one. Because I I like I can do it for half because I um 
I know the my own writing within. But I'm pretty sure Xanthars has different rules for making squirrels, Jim. I don't know which one you prefer to use. Mm. It's pretty nice if you can do it for half cost, because then you just keep you can make a little profit from people. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, that's not page 59. Page 133. Page 69. Got him. Uh, that's not page 133. That's page 132. Uh, scribing a spell scroll. Oh, wait. Maybe anybody can do it. Nice. Then I'll make my own. Saves Scribing a spell scroll money. takes an amount of time and money. Um, a character must have proficiency in Arcana and provide the material components. So now, so now, yeah. You don't have Arcana. Uh, <laughs> I can look, but it's not something I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, I think he's more of a history guy instead of a Arcana. Right. No, he's definitely not. He's a history guy. History and Dermo can do it though. Like. Dermo has. That's why Arlo like likes the uh, the the artifacts and relics and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you do not have Arcana, game. so you cannot do it. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, so uh, I would still I like a whole person. You can make a uh, ninth I... level spell scroll for two hundred fifty thousand gold pieces if you spend forty eight work weeks. That sounds like our whole campaign. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> And at that time, you'll get paid like 50 extra. gold by the Kingdom of Mistalan. And plus tax, so less. <laughs> yeah, but if you need Dermo to, to do that, since I do have proficiency, just let me know and I'll do it. All right, so are we got that yeah, got that figured out? Uh, DM, could could you roll a, a one run one through ten to see how hot Dermo is after he gets his like clean up? I got a nine. Yeah, yeah. We're we're. Uh... I'm Um, okay, so assuming that everybody's got their activities out of the way while waiting for the weapons to be finished, um, you do have them back now, so let me add it to your journals. Just a sec. Uh, I always forget which permission I'm supposed to put this on. It should be a observer. Uh, okay, you yeah, should have the rod in your um, magic items now. Uh, so it uses trident stats, uh, which means it is um, d6 with versatile d8 and throwing. Um, it is uh, counts as being silver, but it's a magic item, so that doesn't really matter. Um... It is of uncommon rarity. Uh, the effect that it has is um, if you hit a vampire with it, it takes an additional 1d6 damage and prevents it from regenerating hit points at the start of its next turn. Nice. We'll know this once we get the item and attune to it. Uh, once you... You don't have... Uh, actually, is it attunement? It's not even attunement. Um, but you can know this so by know spending... This once, made. once you spend one hour studying an item, you can learn its properties. Ooh. I'm sure Zephylos wants to do exactly that so we can learn how to make other things like it. Or where he could do that. He mentioned it, at least. Uh, no, I don't want to spend an hour trying to figure engineer. out what it is. Oh, does he have ideas? You don't? I, yeah, I don't want to spend an hour doing that, when I can spend 10 minutes doing that. <laughs> okay. Oh, my 50 sure. minutes are so precious. <laughs> Efficiency scape over here. 
This guy. He's got an EV3 round to do. I, uh, I take guy. out the pearl and I pluck a feather from Striggy. Oof. Uh, actually, he's a celest or a demon, so it doesn't... No. It doesn't say a beast feather. It says an owl feather. Very important <laughs> distinction, Jim. <laughs> Well, wouldn't so, you, um, so? uh, you, in a matter of a couple of minutes, uh, do indeed learn the rod's properties. So does he learn how the silver makes the property so we can use oh, it? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. You don't even have the rod yet. You just have an unblessed rod. Never mind. Okay, we'll go to <laughs> the church. This is what it's right gonna be though. here, because <laughs> you already we'll know how it works. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the church right beside here. <laughs> or and, how to bless it, I mean. And politely ask the priest to bless it. You know, he's and, like, "Oh, yeah, okay." He like asks a few like little questions like, about literally. your cause, and he's like, "Yeah, okay, sure." Um, uh, and then he'll do it for both of them. <laughs> Does it have to be a Saradome guy that blesses it? That was the inference that you got from the description since Ivandus was Sardominist. Could could I try to bless it with the powers of Zeros instead? Probably, what's but you there, don't know. You what's don't Saradome know got the Zeros for sure from, that it yeah. worked. <laughs> That's fair, but if we're make if we're able to make a couple of them, I kinda wanna try it and I'll suggest it to Zephylus that we make one and bless it in the name of the great empty lord instead and see if it does something more powerful. No, I don't think it'll work for our cause. And here's the issue. <laughs> the vampires aligned with the MT lore. A uh, lord. He is a god of dark. They are creatures of dark. Saradamin is more of the polar opposite. And is there not a darkness that can eat another darkness, though? Darkness does not consume darkness. We're using it's really Pokemon rules. It's immunity. Uh, resistance GM? Uh, and not for all of them. Uh, hearsay, Your Honor. Uh, point being, <laughs> uh, Ceridamin's type of magic and energy is completely different than our Lord's. Um, it's that polar opposite is what probably will kick the vampire's ass. So you're saying that Zeros never had a shot against Zamorak is what, is what Ehrlich would say. What's the correlation? The correlation is that you're saying that there's no power that our great lord possesses that could over over overdo even weaker parts of his own power. I'm saying when we're talking about positive and negative energy, or should I say holy and unholy, as some people would falsely accuse. Um, is is Zamorak not unholy? Is he a being of negative energy? Sure. Right? Would Zeros also be considered a being of negative energy? From the scriptures, very much so. So if we're trying to destroy one negative energy, is it not possible to destroy negative energy with a stronger negative energy? I'm sure if you throw enough magic at a problem, it'll die. I've demonstrated this with Vampire. But what we're saying is if we're trying to exploit a weakness, then maybe we should try to get something that it's vulnerable to. Right? Erlok would be curious of if, if Zeros could Im imbue a weapon with such power still. Um, I think it's worth a shot if we, have, if we have the extra materials at some point. Never know. Um, and uh, Erlok would definitely be meditating on the inferior Zerosian mindset Zephylos possesses. That the, that the great Zeros is incapable of doing something stronger than saying. Zephylos will dismiss as he fell asleep again. And, uh... <laughs> you know, with his reassurance and understanding the Pokemon type chart, uh, we'll dismiss right. this with the, the view that we're making. Listen... Again, he doesn't follow Saradamin, but Saradamin is the god of kicking unholy things ass. Like, we should probably leverage that power and use it like a tool. Sure. Uh, and Erlok's saying that uh, that um, Zeros is capable of 
re re usurping his power, and he's looking for others, the Rosians, who might think similarly. Dermo is also here. I have that in my notes here. Dermo was here. Oh no, I wrote that. Thompson, any comments? Sounds good. <laughs> we love Squidward. it when Zach chimes in. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, that's the energy. Okay. Um, this I is think we can get another. I we, I think see. we can get another wheeze out of Zach before the session's over. Yeah, I think it's definitely on our to-do list. Um, however, I think he is building a tolerance to our stupidity. Mm. Which is going to be a disadvantage roll on our charisma checks. But uh, we're no stranger to those at this point, yeah, right? We're about as charismatic as an STD. Yeah, super tall and handsome. Or about as interesting as the spread of ringworm. <laughs> well, Wait, I, mean, I found something good. In, uh, pathology it could be interesting. Thompson, good. I like how yeah, low quality I'm this is. Dobson. I'm missing Dobson having his random excitement about. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should uh, pet him. Make you know what I miss? Dice you and Khan. What are they up to? Yeah, hey, DM, can we actually just have a side story real quick to see what's up with those two? The world zooms out over Rock and then zooms back in at a different place. And you oh, see oh, and, them okay. hammering away at something that they're making. They're in the city. Okay, guys, we know they're not in Varrock. We can rest a little easier. No, it's it's in Varrock, just a different place in Varrock. You didn't they're say that. Oh, no. They're working. So it's like we already knew. Whenever you change characters, is that what we just watched? <laughs> just hopped worlds. Shab and Zen have many eyes, many eyes, or many spies, many spies have many eyes. The, All the, over the world of Gilliner, we have player characters dormant, waiting for Zerosians to strike. It's kind of true. Sleeper agents. Uh, the demo has nothing specific. He to uh, inquire or do. So, I mean, I'm just kind of vibing uh, until, you know, whatever happens. All right. Um, so, I think we're finished up in Varrock. Mm -hmm. um, before we end today, let's, um, assuming nobody has anything else to do, send the party back uh, toward Potter Domus to complete the rod enchantments. Um, you know what's driving me crazy? Hmm. Who the fuck is buried under Patrick? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I can't drive me crazy. And I'm, I'm really trying to shoehorn it into her life's interest. Because I'm, I want and I need answers. <laughs> uh, let's see. With, uh, is it three days? One, two. Yeah, with three days travel, um... A, including a stop at an inn, um, you are able to. Should we talk with the jelly board? Yep. Nice. Um, you are able to return to Potter Domus, uh, where you will find Drezzle once again, um, who has, because of the debacle at the last visit, um, uh, no longer uh, allowed Earth into the interior. <laughs> Um, um, but he can is... I just kind of self before rolling up, though? Isn't it great when a new rule is named after you? Can I disguise self? Um, I guess, yeah. I would like to look like a unicorn. Way more <laughs> serido way more serodominist. But my unicorn oh, no. has blonde hair. And a cleft lip. Wow. Like a camel. Okay. That's specific. I like it. 
I have a cleft lip like a camel, but I'm a unicorn. Because I have to disguise myself to look like something that's still my size, which is, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not a... Um, well, you can't get rid of your arms. <laughs> I'm tucking them in. They're a part of my name. Into They're waving what? in the wind. They're waving in the wind. <laughs> okay, I mean, you could do that, but it would be a really disguise. crappy disguise. I'm a master. Yeah, no one said it was a great one. I'm a master disguise. Also, your torso would be, like, awkwardly shaped because... Your torso you have, like, is awkwardly shaped, DM. Good night. different body shape. Facts. Bro. Are, are we going yeah. through now? <laughs> are we gonna dial down the disruption level today a little bit. Yeah, we, we've been all over the place tonight, also. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I, I do want to disguise myself to not look like a relic. But it, uh, well, being, okay. being a camp limited in what I can shoot. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you literally will just look like a magical nonsense unless you, like, become a centaur or a different Arcthanatos or something. I mean, can I, I, I want to look like a unicorn with an extra D set of arms that are tucked in. No, uh, you can look like a unicorn that is a centaur. <laughs> but That's like, fine. I'll take it. Say, it yeah, doesn't yeah. really look like a unicorn at all. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stay at a distance in the back. I'm gonna be like with Dobson if he doesn't go in. I'm gonna be hanging out grazing. I'm just gonna be. A, I'm just gonna be a unicorn out here listening. Okay. Incognito. But you disguise. still look like a centaur. Though. No one like knows. A white some, centaur. Like James Bond undercover over here. No one knows. Okay. Well, if you stay far away, then they don't really care. Yeah, I'm not going in because the one I'm gonna call. Well, maybe not. we'll sneak our way in. Over here. All right. Is Dobson interested in going in? Yeah. Would he like to be invisible? Because I don't fucking care. I'll send him an invisible and fuck off in the grass. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a part of it. Sure. Alright, I'll give him my invisibility for today. I'll invoke, uh, invoke duplicity. Or no, what is it? Um, What is my level 6 ability that I get? One second. Call the shadows. There it is. As you... um. <clears throat> Oh, it's only SV. on me, I think, actually. I thought I could put that on somebody. I guess what are you talking about? Me. Never mind. If I can be invisible, then I will uh, attempt to be invisible inside of the church, unless they have ways of scrying that. Do you did, we, did, we, did we infer of any magical vision inside the church last we were there? If they see me, I'll stay outside. If they can't, I'll try to sneak in and be quiet and listen to them. Clop, 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 clop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that just could be I mean, super loud. What? I can, I can, uh, can we not, uh, do something with the illusion on that? We just... <laughs> Damn it. All right. I'll just graze outside. I'll, I'll be left out of the church today. Okay. Very um... When you arrive and have a look around, some of the guards will tell you that Drizzle is inside the temple. Um, oh yeah. Uh, you also notice um, upon entering the temple that Ariane is there uh, sitting at the benches. Uh, she appears to be concentrating on a spell. She's kind of um, um, waving her hands uh, sort of about in front of her and her eyes are unfocused. Um, this is the only one we see, and the, the rest of them are outside camped up. So, uh, Ozan is camped out uh, outside the temple. Um, the raptor is not in this area. Um, and Owen is also... Um, uh, Owen is standing at guard outside the temple as well, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. So they've just been here the whole time. Sounds like a pretty cush job. They got cushy jobs. Um, Erluck, would you have given me the book back once you were done? With yeah, it? I would have. I would have finished it between the travels. Oh yeah, the yeah. books are still missing. <laughs> yeah, I would. Have, yeah, you're returning. You're invisible, MC. You're not invisible because I thought I could put it on you, but I guess that doesn't work on the slow wheel. Yeah. I can still eventually. Be invisible. Yeah, eventually we all can go invisible. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you could just keep cat or no, it's concentration, right? You can upcast yeah. it though. 
Yeah, to do more people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... Uh, I'll wait till we get inside before I do anything. Oh, oh. Um, no, yeah, you said you said you gave me the book back, so yeah. I yeah, yeah, I finished. Then, uh, yep. I'll say steal another good book while you're in there. We'll be making our way back. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll wait until we get inside. All right. Um. So you are free to enter the temple or do so as you please around Potterdomus by this point. When you say you are free to enter the temple, you mean... Except for three of them. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just want to be... Except for <laughs> Erlok, because he's still on here. timeout. <laughs> the oldest man on the, on the shortest timeout he'll ever be on. Is there, um, is there a reason Ozan's outside? Is he not, is he not alive inside too? Uh, it looks like he's keeping watch, but he's kind of bored. Mm. So he's he's, he's like leaning up on the wall of the temple. Not bored enough to bother him, so I'll just keep grazing. All right, how do you guys proceed? Um, there was not very talkative. I'm going to let Zephalos and Dermo. Um, I have to return a couple of books to the library. <laughs> and then scamper off to the inside of the temple. Um, uh, okay, the the books were in the mausoleum, I'm assuming. You yeah, know that's, that's, that's... Okay. Alright, so he'll go over there. Um, he could probably put the book, books back without really any questioning. Um, so he'll, he can literally just go there and put them back and nobody would care. <laughs> it's like one of those things where you put the book into, like, the thing and then you flip it up so it falls down and then they, uh, sort it out. What was that? I, like, you know, when you go to the library and it's like on the outside, and it's like the book return and it's like you oh, put it inside. Not exactly. Yeah, are you asking Erlok if he plans on starting any trouble? Are there any issues you plan on starting? Are you asking him, Danny? I'll, I'll ask. Erlok, Erlok, will, Erlok will say, yeah, there is, there is things. Wait, 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 wait. Did. Did Dermo know about the the trickery you guys were doing? Because you guys had invited him, but then you backed out because you realized how much of a uh, non. No, I, I was there for when he mouthed off the priest. Is what I'm talking about. I wouldn't say okay. mouth off. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Right, yeah he would say off. yes. He would say yes though. So that's why. Sorry, my throat's mm. killing me. I'm typing. Yeah. Yeah, because you were going to tell me about your secret plan, but then you got you were like, nah, he's not cool, and you decided not to. See, the thing about, the thing about bad Zephyrus is, is um, if Zephyrus feels some kind of way about Erla having a plan to start trouble, then he's just going to have to feel that kind of way about it. Because Erla's here for trouble. He's not here for a long time because he's going to get in trouble. Uh, while while they're talking about that, I, I go into the mausoleum and I 
Um, the first opportunity I have where nobody can see me, I will turn invisible and then I will return the books. Um, and then I'm going to start taking another look around, <laughs> seeing if I can find anything at all um, that maybe I missed last time uh, for some hint of where uh, the bodies might be buried. Um, right? Yeah, you right? literally verbally where the body might be. Make a stealth and an investigation. Okay. I'd give him. I'd give him the blessing of the trickster. I can't give him that, so I'd give him blessing of the trickster before he goes. Yeah. Okay. See so the advantage on stealth. I give him blessing of the dermo. <laughs> Cool. You, plus, you have a plus one on all kiss-related checks. Uh, yeah, so yeah, all, yeah, plus one on all Gobi-related in inquiries. <laughs> Gobi -related. Right, and then the investigation. Oof. Okay. Um, so, um, I mean, again, there's not really any evidence anywhere of, like, a hidden trapdoor or, like, a secret wall or something. Um... Uh, I mean, based on, like, a second thorough search, uh, and what you understand about, like, burial customs and stuff, they're probably just, like, sealed beneath the floor. Mm -hmm. Isn't there a spell hey, for, like... I think we're all sealed beneath the floor, if you know what I mean, spiritually. I was gonna say, like, the floor is just made of stone, and there's spells for moving stones. We just gotta figure out where the weak Let us not. Let's not start using spells to tear the temple apart. <laughs> it's not about if, it's a matter of when. Oh my lord, you are going to get this banned from this kingdom. We're go If we're gonna do this, we're gonna make one clean strike, and it's gonna be like Ocean Eleven, baby. You, not me, you. <laughs> Um, you say you, like, I don't have a man on the inside right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying you, as in, like, I'm putting a line in front of myself. You, I've got something better than a man on the inside. inside. I've got half a man on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's half as good, twice as fast. Um, it sounds I... like me in the bed. Ew. Can I use... Um my knife to like like pry it that the uh some of the tiles to see if maybe any of them are loose yeah um committed to the truth here see for a second ceridomas are living by it's in their foundation literally yeah so um I'll count that as part of your investigation check. Um, there, So this place is kind of old. It's from the Fourth Age, if I'm remembering that right. So it's like a few yeah. hundred years old. Um, and there are some of the tiles that are loose in... Um, uh, like the central like well area which you're suspecting is probably where they're buried anyway um, especially considering there's literally like a statue for each of them uh, in that area um, so you have a look around there um, there's some tiles that are loose um, uh, however um, it's uh, there's not, like, one that leads to, like, an opening that you could crawl through. Um, not as a, like, humanoid anyway. Um, there might be, like, little cracks that might lead to where you want to go. Um, uh, but it, uh, not, like, accessible. Easily accessible, anyway. Okay. Um... To me, that just sounds like a challenge. Mm -hmm. Well... DM really doesn't want us to find this crypt. <laughs> it's not that I don't want you to find it, it's more like it's not really... I think really what you guys initially were assuming it was going to be. Not, no, it really isn't. 
mountain. <laughs> like part of the foundation, if I necessarily know this. They built it around the crypt. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, so kind of already know this by now but yeah they're just kind of buried yeah in the foundation like yeah. it wasn't like oh let's like put a tunnel in there and put them in there and then just close the door it's like no Not just, like, there isn't a tunnel they just like sealed here. bricks around it <laughs> like <laughs> pretty sure there is a tunnel here there with people buried in and my character fortunately do not have a shovel <laughs> uh, i feel like it's like casually digging up the <laughs> Like, ah, oh, I guess don't mind me. <laughs> hey, I have an illusion. Dig a hole under here. I might be able to get away with it. <laughs> um. I guess I don't. Yeah, so I think I'm going to uh, head back to Erluck after spending all this time looking around. Um, and tell him that I cannot figure out a way I can't find any sort of like secret passageway or anything that might be leading down to the uh, the bodies uh, it might I, I don't know how to get to where they are Uh, who who else outside? You got uh, just me and the people on guard, I think, right? Um, so Ozan, couple of guards, uh, Zephlos and Dermo and Erlok. Okay, could I could I look around for any fa uh, flora growing that uh, catches my interest? Uh, I mean, immediately around here, there's not. A lot. There's, um, there's some like shrubbery scattered around the grounds. It's a shrubbery. I know a couple of knights. Yeah, I, I know a couple of knights who might like that actually. Mm-hmm. Me. Is there any um? Are there any like mushrooms or any other kind of things around? Like anything that's not just grass or bushes. Uh, there's a few trees. Trees. Is there any sheep nearby, DM? Uh, you know, uh, oh, Dermo, do you see any sheep? Are there any sheep nearby, DM? Uh, nope. You're right, Dermo. Remember, Dermo, you killed the sheep out here. Uh, Before you make any I more see... friends, let's think of the ones we lost. Can I? Can I see the stars? Yeah, you question. can. Nice. It's not even nighttime. How do I? They're just in the sky. Uh, oh yeah, are. is it nighttime? I guess it's not really nighttime. At nighttime, you oh. can see them in this place. Jim, how's how's that display? Like on this side of the river, Sal, looking up, we can see the sun and stuff. But can we see like where the clouds form across yeah, the river? Yeah, is there like a loading screen when so, you cross the river, or like is a it like, of war? Yeah, it's like a so of the, war the whole thing? So the thick clouds kind of spill, like maybe a few hundred feet, like past the salve. Um, or like sort of push right away. Um, uh, oh, good clarification. They Would spill. They spill like beyond the Mauritanian border. Um, we can see few, into it barely. Like transitioning for a few hundred feet into like normal sky weather um, over the eastern edge of Misthalen. Cool. Yeah, I was wondering, I guess. So like crossing in, it just gets darker and darker and darker. Until you know, you yeah. So as you approach the river, it it becomes like full cloud cover once you reach it. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah, you can. There's like uh, there's like a gradient from like normal amount of clouds, whether it's cloudy or, or normal, uh, to the thick Mauritanian overcast um, by the river. That'd be interesting to like be posted up out here at Patagon.
Uh, so I think I'm going to call it here for this week, and we'll finish up yeah. Yeah. shenanigans hey, here uh, at the start uh, of the next session. I'll call it here, uh, just so you can finish up some stuff. I caught like half of those words. Could, could I call it a week here? Yeah. I don't want to take over for you this time. Hey, guys, we're going to call it a week here. <laughs> Damn, if I could be the first one to say, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh-huh. Yeah, if I could, if I could be the first person in in you know, conditional order who is able to, you know, call the raps. Dermo, if I could go ahead and inter interrupt you there, go ahead and say, uh, go ahead, Dermo. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's do our three favorites, because I, I would like to uh, finish. Or yeah. Um. I'll, who wanted to go first? No one. I, I vote Chad goes first. Yeah, so favorite thing, favorite thing that the DM did um, was uh, keep keep uh, Erlok out of the chapel. I was I was wondering if there'd be any interesting developments on that, and Drizzle, I guess, made a rule for it, which is pretty cool. There's a rule in the Serdovinus Church about Erlok. Yeah, they have a little um, thing. Do not let enter, and it's just a, a hand drawn. Yeah, it's, it's a poorly drawn camel in like a, a red circle with a line through it, and it just says, do not enter, like, do not, do not admit. Um, something that someone else did is Dobson is determined to find the truth, which is like really exciting. We're here for it. Um, and, uh, I like that he checked up on me, uh, with the book cause I was going to tell him that I finished reading and I was going to give it back to him, but he beat me to it. Um, and then something that Erlok did, um, I think that he's really excited to start working at the museum. So he is going to be doing that next time we get back to the city, he's going to it's really interesting that you mm -hmm. signed up for a job, said see you tomorrow, and then just never came back. <laughs> yeah. What, what is what is time to a camel? Tomorrow is a week from now. Is two weeks from now. It is what. It, I'm not late or early because I'm not hired. You get me? No, you're hurt luck. I'm hurt. <laughs> I love that I finally got you. <laughs> you did an actual yeah. exit. Fair. Fair enough. I am hurt luck. All right, can I go next? Uh, early, I'm yeah, early. Yeah. yeah. Or, or do you want to go DM? Oh, you can go ahead. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I would rather you go instead. You oh, excuse me. Okay, so, hmm, uh, something. I don't know. What did I even do today? So something that I did yeah. was, I DM'd. For sure. I definitely did that. It's a freebie. Um, I guess I liked the description that I just gave about the clouds. Uh, mm -hmm. It's important to remember and I think remind the players of the the imposing dreariness that is Mauritania. The setting, I yeah. Like that, that set a good picture yeah, of like the border of it. Um, uh, something that you guys did... Um, um, I thought you guys were going to do the library, but, um, searching for magic items is good, too, now that you actually have gold, so I guess that was cool. Um. We're broke again, by the way, DM. Yeah, did you guys all spend your money? <laughs> Who oh, has yeah. money now? Let's see. I I Zephylos has some money left over. Yeah, I mean, I have one. Dobson's son. Dermo doesn't have a lot, really. Erlok has a lot, okay. Uh, no, Dermo has a crap ton. He only spent 25 gold, or like 30 gold while I was there. I just haven't added it. Oh, you should probably put that in there because I know you're going to forget it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, you're going to forget it. Fight me. Okay. Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, I jotted my gold down because I had one gold when I came into town here, so I made sure to not be broke. Okay, so let's see. Did I do? I did two things. Um, did you do a player? Did you, guys, you, do a did you player? guys do anything together? Not really. You kind of just argued. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we argued about our religion, which is totally not a RuneScape thing. <laughs> we argued. We argued about the same religion, which is totally not a RuneScape thing. I think that's it for me. <laughs> All right. It is Dermo's turn to be flamboyant for a moment. Something oh. that I like is... I mean, Pride Month, everybody. I hey. like Dob voice a lot, and I don't know why. I think it's adorable. 
Uh, I don't know. I, I just like when he gets into a character and it sounds really cute and I like it a lot. Uh, I, I like that Dermo uh, was active and participated in deliberations and also got to embrace his inner uh, Zeroshian uh, conflict of interest. And uh, I like that the DM. Uh, what, what did the DM do that I like? I like that you have rules about existence that aren't RuneScape focused, like the museum possibly not being a museum because logically a museum doesn't make sense if you're still living in history at that time. And also, who the hell would go to a museum when you're fighting to exist in a medieval <laughs> fantasy world? But also, let me reiterate, I really like Dobson's cute little goblin voice. <laughs> that is all. Alright, now Zach has to do his favorites in Dobson voice. <laughs> I think we're all a big fan of that. Ah, oh, three favorites. Hmm. Dobby the Gabby. Let's hear it. Well, two of them are easy. <laughs> uh, my my uh, my favorite thing that the GM did was good question. When uh, he 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 what had a shop response not know everything about an item they were selling. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, my favorite thing that another player did was Dermo wanting to em really embracing that religion and not w and wanting to hold back information for more pay. That was really good, yeah. Mm, right yeah. About that. Uh, my favorite thing that I, yeah, <laughs> my favorite thing that I did was uh, look for some slippers. Oh yeah, the slippers. Now we're going to really, deal with that for the rest really of the campaign. bring out the insert color of your eyes. <laughs> so, yeah, I got some slippers now, and that's my, my favorite thing that Zephalos did was spend a hundred gold on having to do a bunch of work. <laughs> <laughs> One that was just, un time. just unfortunate. Zephalos loves working. That's why we keep putting him to work, and if he didn't love working, he wouldn't love doing so. Actually, my favorite thing he did was fall asleep five minutes ago. <laughs> he hasn't said anything for a couple minutes. I'm dying. I'm just typing. He's there. Okay, he's going to type them. That's fine. So we're back to we're back to old school Danny Scape. Where we fall asleep before highlights. So Don't decided. make us post the photo. <laughs> Photo. That's our that's our party icon. It's on my shield. Change the party icon from death to that. It's, it's party scary. token is just Danny sleeping. Somehow more terrifying than death. <laughs> it's not the long sleep. It's just the sleep. <laughs> Do you type him out? I'm assuming Danny is still typing. I'm going to give him another minute. Yeah, he's got a fever, so he's typing slow. There we go. Danny, can you read him out for us? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you write it in Spanish? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trying to get over. a part-time job. Wait, Very but... nice. You know, the voice doesn't match whatsoever with the, what the character looks like because, like, the native speaker just does not. You know, they're just doing it in their voice. I'm going to run this through Google Translate to Spanish. I want to see what it says. <laughs> just for funsies while we're waiting. <laughs> Earl is trying to get a part time job. He's trying. He works. Disculpe. No, you have oh, to do it in shop voice, though. Oh, no. He speaks high school Spanish. 
Oh no, yeah, but it's do, worse do than it regular in Spanish. Oh no, I'm actually Argentinian. Oh Oops. shit. <laughs> wait, 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 but no, but do it, do it. This is what it board. said. Okay, the first one's actually pretty uh, good. Yo que hiche, zephyloth, definitely. Did you just, did you just say and... hiche? <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of, what kind of... Uh, Never mind, he speaks Argentina. middle school Spanish. Yeah. Where Argentina. even is Argentina? That near is the same Okay, he's a otra persona. Urluk and Tontando. Argentina. Argentina. Is that the, is that <laughs> the hey, capital Tennessee? Hey, Shab. Argentina oh, is really Argentina. Okay, I'm having a hard time typing, so I'm just going to say the GM one. Um, okay. The favorite thing GM mm -hmm. did was. Uh, I like I like the sad consolation prize. If you didn't find what you're looking for, here's some crappy uncommon. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> Use an uncommon I uncommon item that I'm pretty sure you're not gonna buy. <laughs> that you're not gonna benefit from either. <laughs> it's fun though. It's so still sad. for sale if you want it. Oh, um, did we decide on who we want the second item for? No, we didn't. Oh yeah, did you I... didn't. Can we can we decide can what the we, second we on that? rod became so that we know? Because <laughs> um, so I would like to do in advance. I'll post the item description if you guys can't see it. It's like it does extra damage on swing, so for that reason, I think it should either be myself or Erluck. Sure. Because we're the only two people who actually like swing. Yeah, so it's yeah. it's it's bonus damage and it's um. Turns off their regen. I'm still on board for the boots. For one kick. round, I think. Yeah, can I vote for the boots? You we cannot turn them boots. into shoes. Your options are dagger yeah, and scimitar. Shouldn't. Or druid staff, if you get a plus. Yeah, okay, but shouldn't then no. Our tax dollars, so. Yeah, I pay taxes in this kingdom just like the rest of you. Where can I have silver boots? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll take if nobody else literally wants it. I already have a silvered kopesh, so if we can make it somehow better than my kopesh, but incorporate my kopesh, then I'll use it. Otherwise, Erlok is pretty adamant about using a stressing kopesh. So, if we can make my if we can make my kopesh a kopesh of my vandas, then I'm on board. Probably not. Oh. Um, All right, then I, don't I want mean, to give up yeah, I mean, it would be a different item if that's the thing that you're. Yeah, um, well, yeah, this, I want to keep my kopesh. This is how much I would do on a swing, hypothetically. Yeah, no, then it's let's not make great. It. It's yeah. Not terrible. It's then you make it. Pretty good. <laughs> let let Zephylos have it then. What's the average? Two and happy, half plus two plus three and a half plus four and a half. Average is twelve and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I know, that's why I rolled a 12 GM. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume you guys do it that way, and I will see you. Well, uh, let's make the dagger, because even if, if Erlok wants it minds. later, he can use a dagger too, right? So. I can use a dagger, yeah. So. Cool. I use a way, we can kind of just pass around. It's, it's, it's the anyone can yeah. use it weapon, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. I would I would take a I would take an upgraded dagger if we, if we can make it look like my kerpen. As long as it looks like the thing that I wear on my chest, I would totally take a new one. I don't care. But my kofesh is like special. I don't want to change it. Okay. Anyways, I'm feeling super nauseous. I want to head off, but thank you guys All very right. much. Yeah. Bye guys. Yeah, talk to you, you guys later. later. See you next week, guys. Bye.